Endymion 2004 is brought to you by Heritage Hyundai and Cox Communications. While you're going on your lead, you ought to go see the mighty girl. Somebody'll tell you what's gonna be fun. Get your ticket. Welcome everybody to Endymion 2004. This is the 38th annual Endymion Parade. I can't believe it. I'm Judy Storch sitting here with Warren Bell. 38th annual, and we're yep. still older than the parade. Oh, stop! How did that happen? Stop! I don't know. I don't know. I think I was a teenager when this thing started in 1966. But hello, everyone. We're back on Canal Street. I am so happy to say that. I know. We missed you guys last year, and judging from the comments I heard all year long, some of you missed us as well. The Endemian Parade is back on Canal Street. You know why we weren't here last year, of course. That's because the Canal Streetcar construction street work construction. was deeply into the pulling everything up phase, so there really was no way to have thousands of people lining Canal Street and are there with thousands all that construction. Of Boy, there what? sure are. We are on Canal Street near Galvis, right outside the Cox Communications New Orleans facilities, and I can tell you, in every direction, you see a sea of people, and that's easy to understand, because while Endymion still rolled last year right. on the uptown route, it isn't the same the, as Endymion the rolling. The classic route. It's classic route that it's been doing now for 30, I'm telling 38, you, 38, years. 38, 38 years. 38 years. And when we came down Canal early, early this afternoon, I could barely get the car through. Well, I got news for you. Yesterday, they were lining up at Orleans Avenue and places like that. Gosh, I just saw my little girl on the monitor. Hot dog. <laughs> I'll bet her grandma noticed that also. Hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> my little boys are here, too. They're having a good time. We got a call at 5 o'clock frantically from my sister saying, Mama's trying to change channels, and she can't figure out what's wrong. I thought the parade started at 5. I said, oh, yeah, no. but it doesn't get here right. until 6, we hope. So that's why we're here. In fact, we are told the Endymion Parade had a little bit of a late start. That happens with parades. You see the police cars coming down the street. Hopefully it'll be by soon. And we that should also amazing. mention this is Saturday night at the movies, the sequel. That is the theme for that Endymion That is the theme 38. for this 38th annual Endymion Parade, followed by the Endymion Extravaganza down at the Superdome. We don't know exactly where the front of the parade is right now. That, that we'll know once we see the command unit for the New Orleans Police Department because that is actually the first official unit in the parade. So far, we've seen fire... Fire trucks go by, right. fire station wagons go by, but waiting on an update right now from someone along the parade route to tell us about how many minutes we'll have to wait. Oh, We're going to be babies. here no matter what for you to bring you those live scenes of these gorgeous floats, all of them depicting a different theme from one of the many movies that have right. and entertained I'm going to nail you folks. with questions. I want to know which of these no, movies no, you've no. seen. No, no, no. I told you. I've seen all the trailers, <laughs> but I'm not much of a movie Got person. The reviews. <laughs> and I do have a DVD at home, but... I keep getting that fluttery signal, so I, I must not be doing something right. We've got Harry Potter floats coming up, That's Lord right. of the Rings, Finding Nemo. It's really going to be exciting. Our Grand Marshal this year is Leanne Rhymes. Right. Very famous country so western see, singer. You'll see her as well. Beautiful. And we'll take a quick break, I believe, and come back with more Endymion Parade coverage. I should mention Parade coverage is brought to you this year by the good folks at Heritage Hyundai. Mm -hmm. And you'll be hearing more about that when we return. Stay with us. Judy Storch on Canal Street. The Mounted Patrol is usually right ahead of the uh, communication van for NOPD. You can smile, guys. It's okay. <laughs> come on. Come on. Crack a smile. Come yeah, on. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> smiling at you. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they can't wave and if they is can't that smile. The, is that the Budweiser unit? Oh. Are those the, those are the Clydesdales. Here come the Let Budweiser Clydesdales. We're no, rolling. No, actually, no? this is another unit. Everyone wants to, you know, these are the wannabes. No. I, <laughs> this is. Oh, but they're throwing things. Percheron Hitch. Percheron Hitch. Those are oh, Percheron from the Angola, horses. Oh, from the Angola Prison That's Rodeo, right. this particular unit. 
Oh, and they're throwing beads. Okay, yes, now we're they getting... are. Friends of the NOPD Mounted Patrol is what it says on the rear panel of that pretty red wagon. And uh, you're looking at, uh, well, just behind that uh, emergency unit, the white painted bus. Looks like an old-fashioned city bus. That is the New Orleans Police Department Command Center, and that is actually the first official unit of this Endymion Parade, folks. So we're, we're getting there. Have you ever been to Mardi Gras or a Carnival Parade with someone who's never been before? Actually, no. No. I, I can only imagine it's what that's like, having to explain things, experience. right? Actually, they're usually speechless. <laughs> because almost everyone has seen a parade, but unless right. they've seen a New Orleans parade where they're, it's like, why are they throwing things? <laughs> what are they throwing anyway? <laughs> and let me get this straight. They throw panties and oversized combs and <laughs> giant giant sunglasses <laughs> giant and bottles and sunglasses <laughs> that only King Kong could wear. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> and again, that's the command. You're seeing the, the, those lead units for the uh, Endymion Parade. I can't say that I see any floats right behind them yet. Oh, it's coming. But uh, you will waiting. soon be seeing the Budweiser Clydesdales, the Marine Corps Band, the Jerusalem Temple, uh, all of the traditional units that have actually been a part of this Endymion Parade for 38 consecutive years. And that's I know that's true of the high schools as well. In fact, I don't know if you're aware of it, Judy, but the, the high school order of appearance for the marching bands is based upon how long they've been part of the parade. I, I and that's, that. that's the reason St. Aug and St. Mary's always, are up front, because up front. they were with right. Endymion from literally the very beginning, from those years on Broad Street. And I have to tell you, I love the bands. That's one of my favorite oh, parts absolutely. of every parade. And i, I got to say, St. Aug is up there in my top well, three. Well, sure. Ah, sure. Well, you didn't think you'd get an argument from me no. with that, did you? <laughs> You're biased. <laughs> that's my alma mater. That's right. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> going to be good. Nothing's happened since the unit got here, which has me a little bit concerned. Should we tap dance on the table? I don't know. No, uh, we've been tap dancing as it is <laughs> on this table. <laughs> We're going to be right back with more Endymion Parade coverage after these messages from Heritage Hyundai, Heritage Hyundai. our right. sponsor. We'll be right back. Do you, do you see that camera? Yes, I do. Getting an, getting an unauthorized look at us <laughs> from the side. Hi. <laughs> Both with our bows on you. Yeah. Fabulous. Yes, fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. We are back, Warren Bell, with Judy Starch. And it's not seven degrees tonight, I'll no, tell you. No, no. It was More in like 57, oh, I'll bet, it if, it's, if, if it's that. It These does feel warm. wonderful. We should wear these little, all year a little, long. A little itchy, though. Yeah. <laughs> And there's all these little They're things feathers. flying what do you around. Want? Yeah, I'm going to have a contact lens. <laughs> what are you wearing feathers so. for anyway? <laughs> well, because you were. I <laughs> thought it was part of the costume. Matching. It is, it is. Something like that. We both got the memo on the feathers. Okay, command center's moving. moving by. I hope that means we're close. In fact, that's, that's the mobile like command of the center of the New Orleans police. The, ki oh, the kids are patient, though. Obviously, we're yeah. getting a little impatient. We should take a lesson I from know, these kids. They're the still children. smiling. They're still happy. Out of the mouths of babes. Of course, they don't have a camera in front of them <laughs> with people at home waiting for us to say something to entertain them while we wait for the parade. Oh, golly. Instead, they get this. <laughs> I see plenty ah, of police lights down there. A and nice the close-up look. The guys say, look, we can't tell you what's going on either. We're up front here. We don't know what's holding it's things coming. up. You know, so often, though, Judy, especially when we've had a year go by without any floats passing, those trees on Canal Street can be intimidating oh, for some absolutely. of these mega floats. And some of these floats are, after all, awfully large to be coming down the street in the first place. And, it, you know, it's very possible there was some kind of a it's breakdown true. or delay. That happens And the often. trees, as you know, every year are decorated for the rest of the year. Yeah, you'll, you'll see all the, all the beads <laughs> hanging down, the ones that never got back never down to the ground. Quite. In fact, Rapidy there's some up there right now. Oh, sure. Just wait. <laughs> Just wait until later. Oh, people have been so patient. We're not. We're not. That's right. 
gosh, look at the time. 2004 live coverage. We've actually been on the air for 45 minutes, still hoping the parade will, well, they'll get us to the parade on time or get the parade to us on time is probably the more accurate we way guarantee to, you it's to put that. Guarantee you oh. it's coming. Man, they're ready. Yeah, they're ready. They're everyone's past still ready, in a good huh? mood. You know, no one gets sour. It's great. Everyone's in a good mood. They're and I think that's a lot of the Cox Communications right, Cox employees. Cox Communications employees. Right in front of their, their building here on Canal Street. It's a great spot for the parade. It is a great spot. So do we. That's, that's, that, that's one of the better kept secrets in New Orleans, folks. And it's not just the area behind the barricades for Cox. It's this entire area is, is actually a great spot. Lots of police protection, all those extra lights, mm -hmm. so you don't that, miss a thing on the parade. That four-inch gap in the chicken wire right You're over still Warren's wor head. <laughs> don't worry, I'll take the I'll take the hits. You won't. <laughs> nope. Hopefully, they'll you have better things waiting. to do. United Way says thanks, New Orleans. More parade watchers trying to get that position. They know it's close. They know it's close. What Excuse are these me. cars coming up here? Uh, we should be. If actually, I, you're going to have some of the radio stations in there doing parade progress reports. You're going to probably right. see Blaine Kern Studios' vehicle. In fact, a couple of those uh, just behind the mobile command unit are the Blaine Kern vehicles. In fact, there's Blaine inside the black Mercedes. Hey, Blaine. <laughs> Creator of the floats, many of the floats during carnival season. Mr. Mardi Gras. Hey, Blaine, there he is. Somebody, somebody must have clued him in on that cell phone. Man, you're on the air. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Now that's a nice now parade. Pro now that's what I call a parade progress vehicle. Nice little black Mercedes. Kern Studios. <laughs> Followed by the uh, the big black truck, and it's not just a season for them; it's 365 oh, days. Oh no, no, no! Yeah, in <laughs> fact, they they are worldwide now. They're doing carnival celebrations in other parts of the world. Yeah, incredible! I believe they've been in China. Have they really? Yes, I did not yes. Know that. Uh, I saw that uh, over the last few months. The Kern Studios are in China, helping the Chinese do some festivals or take some mm -hmm. festivals of mm -hmm. theirs to another level. They're getting very tourism oriented too. Everyone's figured Amazing. out that tourism is an economic development tool. Look who tool. they come to. Is that not fabulous? Oh yeah. Well, it's just like all the police departments that come That's here right. at this time of the year to study crowd control right. from the New Absolutely. Orleans police. Who better? Absolutely. Uh, I see one of the constable vehicles. This is one there of those is. perennial Endymion pieces. In fact, I think that's Kim Liberto, Liberto, one of the constables in Jefferson Parish with that fabulous antique car. The car is coming right, up right behind, behind the truck. energy vehicle. Behind the energy truck. Right there, there it is. And of course, she was preceded by Sal Liberto. And no, the name isn't a coincidence. <laughs> Carrying on the tradition. Oh, they're asking for throws. That's a great car, huh? <laughs> it's so classic. Of course, I wouldn't want to have to worry about the upkeep <laughs> and the That's maintenance. True. You know, keeping those things running Boy, and preserved can be a, 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 a tricky thing, but it, no, it's a great piece. And okay. it's been it's been in the parade as long as the parade's been around, actually. It's beautiful. There come the Clydesdales, the Judy. Ah, let here we there go. be no imitation. Budweiser Clydesdales, these are the most uh, among the most beautiful horses in the world. The Percherons from Angola are also gorgeous. Right. And of course the, the other beer company uses the Belgians, I believe. The other large horses. That's right, right. that's right. They are so well groomed. In fact, so none, of them well are, none of them are sponsoring us, so we can say all their names, right? <laughs> Budweiser, of course. <laughs> it's allowed. Our producer is rubbing her forehead. <laughs> yeah, well. It's like, what are those crazy guys going to say next? Look at how beautiful those horses they are. They are magnificent. Tremendous. They're huge. I wonder what their their take is on yeah. this. Oh, geez, there goes all those <laughs> silly people again. again, Wilbur. Oh, no, no, that was Mr. Ed. I'm sorry. <laughs> and how do we know that horses talk like uh. that anyway? Well, here comes some crows. See, you don't see it right now, but I'm pointing to Warren's head. <laughs> don't point to my head. They're going to be looking for that big target anyway. You can hear it on the chicken wire. 
Here comes the U.S. Marine Corps band from New Orleans. isn't far behind, although yeah. the, the color guard's a little ways out from the band. I'm not used to seeing them that far ahead. Here they are. Oh. You know, unfortunately, I think because the parade is a little bit behind, Judy, we're going to have a tough time seeing them yeah. slow down when they get here. They're going to be in a hurry to get on down to the Superdome because as That's many right. of the locals know, maybe some of you don't, this parade ends with a huge party that literally rolls into the Superdome. And around the dome. And around the dome. Tremendous party. And this, as we said, is the U.S. Marine Corps Band from New Orleans. I feel a parade coming on, Judy. I hear one coming on. gone long to know the answer to that song. That's right. <laughs> now, is that kid wearing a wig? <laughs> <laughs> Precious. <laughs> Here comes the Jerusalem Temple motorcycle escort. Now, can these guys throw? They can throw beads, can't Some they? Some of them do. Talk about upkeep. Look at those. Oh, yeah. These guys are usually heading towards the parade assembly point hours early. I saw some of them heading that way at least five or six hours ago. So you know they're ready for the parade Absolutely. to get started. Oh my God. And this is only one of their units. This is their Harley division. <laughs> this is the original Jerusalem Temple motorcycle escort. Being followed closely. Oh, that, those are still Harleys. You're going to see the wow. Honda division in a minute. Those are amazing. Those are the trikes, the tricycle motorcycles. Now, those are a pretty piece of cash, aren't That's, they? That's, well, you, you have to buy a motorcycle first, then you convert it. You convert it. To get the two-wheel effect in the rear. And again, now the Honda division is here, the Jerusalem Temple Honda Corps. Which is okay with me, since I, I ride a Honda motorcycle. I when, was going to When ask I get a chance to ride. <laughs> Oh, I see a float. Uh-oh. I see a float about a block and a half down. Good enough. Oh, yeah, I think I see the glimmer of the lights. I think you're right. Well, this should be, well, I think we're looking for the city of Kenner's right. police car. And the Gretna's Gretna, coming up behind. This may be the Gretna Chief's posse. Is it possible the... Oh, maybe. Kenner PD moved on already? Because that looks more like the Gretna Posse. It sure does. The giveaway being the horses. Yes. <laughs> and we're both wearing our boots tonight, and I see That's you've right. got your bolo cowboy tie. Boots, I sure, sure do. So we can, relate. we can relate to that cowboy cowgirl thing. I get, it. I get thing. it. And if you're wondering why the horses have not begun to move in our direction, the units you've already seen have not yet. Hey, Miss Mara. Uh, uh, happy Mardi Gras to you, dear. She's been out here since 6 o'clock this morning, I, providing sure breakfast for the crew, oh. providing lunch and dinner for the crew. Amazing. A wonderful lady, Miss Mara Lewis. She's terrific. Yep, yep. She's here for every Cox event. Providing that smile as well That's as right. some good That's food better to than keep any us of the going. Food That's or... right. That's right. And you are watching 2004 live coverage of Endymion, 
the big parade. We're going to take a break and be back with more parade coverage. Hopefully the floats will be closer when we get back. Right after this. <laughs> Welcome back. We are <laughs> anticipating <laughs> the arrival of the first float. And in the background, the you can see Chiefs the Gretna Posse. Chiefs Posse. Just one of the many preliminary units before we even get to the what some people would say the real parade. I guess that's what the kids would say. This and, is and all look, part of it. Warren, now. they're moving. And these folks work hard to do their part. <laughs> they do. Don't want to belittle their contribution. In fact, I think a lot of folks like to see the horses go by. And behind this posse, we've got four Endymion marching figures yeah. that are bigger than life. Except I think there's more than four. No, it should, no? Yeah, oh, yeah. No, I see one, two, three. No, four, you're five, right. Five, six. six. If I was a well, little younger. Why, <laughs> why, why, why put limitations on a good thing, right? <laughs> they used to be four. We don't want to get too far ahead of this. And again, this is the Gretna Chiefs posse. And we should see those marching figures come now. There, and there we go. Warren and I are so anxious that we are getting yeah, ahead of the cameras. We're looking about, past the cameras at what's coming blocks. next in view of the cameras. Can you imagine carrying that thing no, all day? No, I was just... Day? How many miles are we talking? Well, when I've walked in Dimian, when my daughter was at St. Mary's, we, we walked last year for the Uptown route. This, I don't think, is any shorter, but you're talking at least four or five miles to, to walk. You're carrying... Oh, let me tell you, by, by the time you get to the Superdome when you've walked with the band for the Endymion Parade, you, you, you are very aware. I'm of always the amazed fact. at the bands. They're, oh, they're, they're marching, great. dancing, playing all at the same time. It's and actually walking a, well, you'll get that experience, so you Mom. Your kids are eight. You know, when they yes, get to I middle know. school and high school and they're saying, but Mom, we're in the band. You've got to be a chaperone. <laughs> and then I can say, oh, look, there's Jimmy. <laughs> And how old will I be? Don't answer uh, that. Don't answer that. You don't want to know how old I was out there. <laughs> Harahan police are right in front of our reviewing stands right now on those gorgeous royal blue motorcycles. You can tell there's a biker up here, huh, Judy? Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> You're waving zoom, the zoom. Horn. <laughs> Boy, talk about Mardi Gras through the eyes of. How about through the eyes of oh, a child? Yeah. Look at these children. They're precious. We're See? sponsored tonight by Heritage Hyundai. And we may get a chance to meet one of the principals at Heritage Hyundai before this night is over. Although if he's competing just, with the floats, I, I think just, he loses. I was just going to say, so he this may be telecast in traffic, is about is... the floats and the bands. <laughs> and we love our sponsors. <laughs> Paying the bills, but Oh, I see. Okay, I can't. I can't get ahead of it. I was just going to mention That's the flambeau. Right. That's barrier, right. Don't, don't, don't do I, it. I can't do it. They're Let them be the revealed yet. in time. <laughs> now, this is a New Orleans police unit I have not seen before. NOPD.com. Not everyone can wear the badge. Oh, this is a recruiting vehicle for oh, the NOPD. It sure is. It and sure as is. you know, the New Orleans Police Department is busily trying to build its force up to 1,700 members. They've got their own recruiting unit. Now, I'm not probably sure how many people are going to volunteer to become well, a cop probably a good idea to put it in the from the sidelines, but the message is going out. Right. Do you have what it takes to wear the badge of the NOPD? Ladies and gentlemen, right behind them, that convertible is carrying Mr. Edwin H. Hampton. Uh, For so many years, the director of the St. Augustine High School Band. And they are and, fabulous. Here and they as come. you hear, that is the sound of the St. Augustine Marching 130, I think it is by now. Talk about being in shape. 
Oh, these guys start getting in shape in August. Maybe the Saints could use them. Mr. Hampton has been the director of the St. Augustine Marching Band for 50 years. What a terrific years. history he has seen. You're looking at the... And the story is he patterned it after he, he saw some of the marching bands at some of the colleges and said, we can do that. Precision drill marching. And they're doing it. And oh, you're yeah. looking at the, fla uh, the 12 Endymion Flambeau. When was it that they became propane powered? The flambeau it became a safety issue. Didn't it, it became Several a big safety ago. issue. They used to do this with 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 kerosene right. oil, and it would drip and burn along the streets. Sometimes it would fall on their clothing. These days, it's a little safer. A little safer. It may not look safer, not but it is much carry. safer. Yeah, you've got that big propane canister oh, on your man. back for the entire parade. I guarantee you, you'll need a chiropractor after that. <laughs> or an understanding mate who gives a good background. Absolutely. Again, you're looking at some of the Cox Communications employees in a prime spot oh, yeah. for the Endymion Parade this Saturday <laughs> night. Oh, look at these costumes. Those are beautiful. And these are the Endymion Riding Lieutenants coming into view now. Ah, if you could see the detail, I'm sure the camera will pull up on a couple oh, of them. Yeah. The detail on these costumes, these robes, the headdresses are phenomenal. To the floats. Oh, that's right. They've only just begun, folks. No, that's not a float theme, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> it's movie themes this year. I'm so glad. <laughs> Songs might be next year, but not this year. <laughs> Does that mean you're going to sing next year? Thank no, 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 no. <laughs> only if they forget to turn the mic down. It is still a wonderful night. It feels so good out here. No, we've been out here some sometimes when it's been a little bit of a nip in the air, or a little muggy. This is perfect, though. It's happened this is you. absolutely perfect. What you're looking at now? Oh yeah. Float A. This is the captain of Endymion, and he's saluting the highlights of the big screen. When we get a little closer, mm -hmm. you'll get to see his royal tunic of white, uh, may I say it, Judy? Yes, please. De soie, Le de soie. Trimmed with black velvet and accented with silver in a starburst design of black velvet inserts with black velvet. Applicates. Did I tell you earlier this Applicates. year, I, I did a press club fundraiser and we did the Queer Eye skit? Did you really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was reading it just like that, too. <laughs> you can see in a second... Now, oh, somebody's got quite a camera there, That's huh? right. Okay. Home movies. Movies of people making movies. <laughs> Don't right. you love it? These are actually some of our friends from Heritage Hyundai enjoying a very choice location mm -hmm. just below the reviewing stand. I hope somebody warned them that there's going to be a point where they're going to be sorry they're there. <laughs> That's right. They need umbrellas. When the beads start coming plentifully... From Orlando, Florida, folks, just ahead of the captain's float. This group is called the Second Story Guys. They are stilt walkers yeah. from Orlando, Florida. Now, I that have for a always few miles. wondered what it must be like to try to do that. We used to have stilts when I was a little girl. Man. And we'd tie our legs to them, which made for much more intense injuries. Look Ouch. at that. Oh. I'll clap for that. <laughs> wow. That was incredible. These guys are walking for miles, too. Don't forget that. <laughs> Orlando. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, wow. oh, this crowd is loving it. They're good. They're good.
Someone should tell them that they're holding up the captain. <laughs> Guys. They don't seem to care. I don't think the crowd cares either right now. They're loving it. Top cats coming up on the yep. float. On the first float. And they are also one of those endemian perennials. Look at this man's costume. Look at his and feet. as we said, there he is, the captain of Endymion. Uh, his cape is trimmed in Look at white the collar. Fur. Wow. Look at the, can you see the movie reels, the golden movie reels oh, of man. the silver stars? It's a matching collar, a cloud of white plumes. That is amazing. Oh, now those bees are coming. Now this is where it gets dangerous for us, Judy. <laughs> yes, it does. Because I think one of the prerequisites for being an Endymion crew member is you have to be able to toss beads like... Like a baseball player. Like a quarterback doing a 70-yard <laughs> yard pass. Oh no, we're not going to survive. Frisbee. <laughs> there was a Frisbee that almost made it just now. Behind this is the Sky Tracker unit that you can see the lights from all over the city. Oh, yeah. Blowing that confetti stuff all over the place. <laughs> and you saw the city of Kenner police cars. Actually, they were ahead of the Endymion captain's float. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, the St. Mary's Academy marching band and drill team and cheerleaders. And last year, Judy, you would have seen me just to the right really? of your screen. Oh, yes, I always insisted I'd be right out front. And the year before your daughter was in it. Yes, she was, as uh, one of the co-captains of the cheerleaders. St. Mary's Academy is another school that has been with Endymion since the very beginning. Band director is Mr. Emil Francis. Oh, somebody's looking extra sharp tonight. <laughs> St. Mary's Academy looking great tonight. And I guess I'm feeling a little full right now. Oh, I bet you are. I did this quite a few years, oh. marching with my daughter. Who is now, now at LSU. <laughs> and she's... Downstairs tonight, right? She's downstairs waiting for her her marching band to go by. When she was in St. Mary's, how many parades did they march in, in one season? Usually they do five, I think four or five parades a year. They, they don't like to have the girls out during the weeknight parades as a rule. So they'll usually start with the Friday parade, the preceding Friday parade, and they'll do two or three this weekend. Always a thrill, right? All-girls school. Run by the Sisters of the Holy Family, founded by Henriette DeLille, who is another person up for sainthood, or being considered for sainthood. Great school with a great history. And I know for a fact that the Sisters had a big meeting tonight, so most of them are home watching the parade. Hello, ladies. Watching their girls. Hello, Sisters of the Holy Family. We know you're proud right now. And so am I. Happy Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras, everybody. St. Mary's Academy. It's marching band. It's the drill team, cheerleaders. They come out in full force. And I think those are all new uniforms this year also. Well, they look great. Absolutely. Makes me want to get my St. Mary's Blue Windbreaker out. <laughs> Maybe march in one more parade this year. You're waxing year. <laughs> nostalgic, aren't you? Yes, I am. <laughs> See that moisture in my <laughs> I eyes? Do, I I'm do. such a silly man. <laughs> no, you're not. No, it brings back some nice what memories. What great memories to Absolutely. be able to march with your kids. Oh, it is. It really is. You really don't feel it at the end of it. 
It's uh, oh, it's, it must be it's such a charge, it's such oh, an yeah. adrenaline rush. It's truly, wonderful. more flambeau here, folks, and a beautiful float coming up behind them. Oh yeah, this will be our grand marshal this year. Oh, the fantastic Leanne Rhymes, mm -hmm. excellent, wonderful country singer. You know, she started singing when she was 13. 13 years old. In 13. 1996, she made her major label debut with an album called Blue and won two in Gram Grammy Awards for that. And you remember the song, How Do I Live? How Do I Live Without You? Yes. That was one of her top ten singles. I thought that was written for me. Oh, no. I know better <laughs> than that. Trust me. The lovely Miss Leanne Rhymes. I think she arrived yesterday or day before in town. I saw the... Uh, television oh. coverage of that. She's beautiful. I love watching their faces. They must be just kind of an out-of-body well, experience. But you know, by the time they get down here, they've already pretty much figured everything out. <laughs> That's true. <coughs> the 2004 Grand Marshal for Endymion. I believe her husband is standing with her on the float. Dean Sheramet. Along with the Pinstripers Brass Band, providing her musical accompaniment, and the officers of Endymion are on that float also. Leanne, hi there. I think I'd want to be next to my wife if she were doing wouldn't this that, Mardi Gras thing. That be, Just in boy, case. Boy, that would be very fun. Just in case. <laughs> you know, he's probably heard about those crazy New Orleans people. <laughs> We're not crazy. Only sometimes. Uh-huh. We're lots of fun. <laughs> Boy, 13 years old. Think of that career. She's been working. Yeah. Think of those royalties. <laughs> <laughs> Think of those residuals. <laughs> Can you say ASCAP? Can you say BMI? <laughs> <laughs> More of the Sky Trackers. Because after all, there's never too much confetti on the That's streets. That's right. <laughs> and talk about a great band, McDonough 15. McDonough 35, I'm sorry. Senior high school band is coming up. First, here are our friend. Let me see now. Now, these young folks are either out of order... McDonough 35? No, that's not 35 there. 35 oh, it is, sure isn't. is maroon and gold. They should be coming up, but... I can't believe you have better eyesight than me. Aren't you much older no, than me? No, I just me? have better <laughs> contact lenses than you tonight, Judy. <laughs> and I know that McDonough 35 color scheme. And I know these gentlemen have been with us every year. I just can't... Would that be Forrest Brooks? Is this Brooks? Forrest Brooks from Houston? Well, that's supposed to be a band. This is more of a, mar a precision drill unit. Gee. And there's nothing identifying him. Our apologies, no. folks. We are working from a script, believe it or not. But Sorry there about is, that. There is nothing telling us in the script who these young people are. Now these are the flambeau characters. Or flambeau. They're still beautiful. Propane or kerosene. That's right. Doesn't matter. A lot cleaner smelling. Uh, look. There's now confetti coming in through the That's chicken right. wire. <laughs> Where Better than 10 pounds from? of beads. You got that right. Actually, my 11-year-old is going to be in one of the truck floats this coming Mardi Gras day, so she's on a mission. Oh. She's collecting beads Your 11 right now. Oh, she's got to be out of her mind. Oh, going she's to be looking sick. forward to it. Your 11-year-old. Oh. Miss Bonnie. <laughs> Now, I believe this is floats C and D, with the themes being Chicago and Finding Nemo. And these are some of our Endymion maids representing oh those movies, Chicago and I Finding this Nemo. Is Miss Noelle Monsour Dazio. That's it. She's the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Peter Dazio of Baton Rouge, and she is representing, as you said, Warren, the film Chicago. And Miss Joelle Sapansky is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Michael Sapansky of Mandeville. And she is representing the Finding Nemo float. That's right. Nicole Dazio is a sophomore at LSU, majoring in sociology. She's wearing a fitted gown of peach velvet 
with beaded flowering fringes in hues of red, black, and coral. You do that so well. Her collar explodes with peach plumes depicting the many <laughs> skyscrapers of the city. Chicago. No, I Tell us about this is Joelle. Joelle Sapansky, and she is our maid representing Finding Nemo. She is a senior in elementary education at LSU and a member of Delta Gamma Sorority. Joelle wears a beautiful fitted gown. It's light blue velvet with bright coral accents. Oh, and her large collar shows some of the characters of the sea. Very nice. Did you see Finding Nemo? Joelle Sapansky and Nicole Mansour Dazio. You can see on her headdress. Beautiful There's colors. Nemo, Dory, Look Bruce the, the Shark, colors, huh? Squirt the Turtle. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? And that was a, a because I have little boys, actually. We, we went uh -huh. to see that movie, and I think I would have gone anyway. It was Great so movie. terrific. So this is Forrest Brooks Senior High, folks, from Houston, Texas. And they are here every year also. <laughs> Boy, imagine taking a break for that <laughs> from school in another state every year. What a blast that would be. It's probably part of the incentive for recruiting in the bank. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I hope you can see these guys on the drums. What an incredible job they're doing. And of course, right behind the band is one of the most important units behind each band. That 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 little wheeled cart carries all the water for the band <laughs> members. Right. Don't let that break down. Can't have that happen. Coming up, yeah. more maids representing the movies Harry Potter and Spider-Man. See the, them all. <laughs> the first of these Endymion maids is Miss Cherie Marie D'Arcangelo, daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Rene D'Arcangelo of Raceland. She's representing Harry Potter. And Miss Jamie Jean Rittner is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Perrin Rittner of Metairie, and she is representing Spider-Man. Now, right now, up front there, you see Marie, or Cherie Marie D'Arcangelo. She's a senior at Central Lafourche High School and was among who's who for high school students for the past two years. Her fitted gown is in red velvet with color bursts of red, black, and green highlighted with beaded fringe. And her collar depicts the young wizard himself, Harry Potter. Oh, wow. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Harry Potter, oh, the Hogwarts Express, Hedwig the Owl, the Sorting Hat, the Transfiguring Cat. I remember all these. And her headpiece is a fan of red, beautiful feathers. Hello, Harry. And there's, there is Jamie Jean Rittner coming up right behind her. Well, no, that's still Cherie. I'll be patient. I just figured there's out what's Jamie going Jean. on here, and Judy. And she is representing Spider-Man. She is a senior at the Academy of the Sacred Heart in New ah. Orleans on St. Charles Avenue. She wears a beautiful fitted gown, bright yellow, and look at the intricate black spider webs, accented with black and red spiders. Mm. Ooh. Spiders, <laughs> mommy! Her collar is a burst of bright yellow plumes accompanied by sprays of red accent feathers with another great black spider web, oh, and along the evil with the images goblin. of Spider-Man. And this is the 214th Army Ground Forces Band. I am removing the boa. The boa is causing us to have I, these it, coughing it's... attacks. <laughs> we're I breathing thought you in told the feathers. Me, I thought they told us these were hypoallergenic. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh. they just told us that so they could okay, get us on the air. Okay, it's a little too pleasant out here, Judy. <laughs> There's our first mosquito of the evening, <laughs> flying right in front of us. <laughs> in February. Oh, my. I think this is our queen. Oh, how beautiful. The 38th queen of Endymion, ladies and gentlemen. Her name is Miss Megan Elise Giardina.
daughter of Mr. and Mrs. William Jardina of Gretna, Louisiana. Queen Meg is a senior at St. Mary's Dominican in New Orleans as an honor roll student. Wonderful. She's a member of Mu Alpha Theta and the National Honor Society and has participated in the Culinary Arts Club and the Foreign Language Club. Oh. Look at how beautiful that gown is. She enjoys is. art, traveling, and riding roller coasters. The next fall, she'll be attending Tulane University. You're She's looking at a white silk gown. Ooh. That is gorgeous. Raised flowers, gold and silver leaf appliques, accented with gold beaded fringe of seed and bugle beads. Look at her collar, cascading in large white plumes with a shimmering profusion of gold <laughs> fan of feathers. Her headpiece is a regal crown of gold beading with rhinestones topped by large white plumes. Hail Queen Endymion, 2004, Macon Giardina. BMI. Virginia Military Institute Regimental Band. Oh, look at the cute little kilts. They look very comfortable. Hey, fellas, is it drafty under... Oh, never mind. <laughs> They don't have any heavy beads to You know, you. inquiring guys want to know. Right. <laughs> and of course, they're playing Shenandoah appropriately. After all, they're from Virginia. The Virginia Military Institute Regimental Band. Followed by more flambeau. And followed immediately by more of the Endymion Riding Lieutenants. you get to be a flambeau carrier? I, I think they actually have to audition. Now, is our guy EP down there now? I think he's on the street. EP live on the street level with one of the flambeau. Here we go. We got the man with the flambeau right here. How many years you been doing it? Hi -yo, hi -yo, hi -yo. Talking to the old right I've been doing it for almost 50 some years. I'm 52 years old. And I'm a supervisor now, so I'm still in charge. You know, I started out when I was 12 years old. Clarence Bucket home, that's me. Yes, indeed. Right. They uh, they sticking y'all, they sticking y'all behind the wrong bands. Though, it seems like Everybody. they get the tap tap y'all. You make it out for it, though, right? Yes, indeed. Back to y'all upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> he almost All lost right, his job. EP. <laughs> EP almost lost his job down there. That was very good. That guy took that he microphone. He, he meant it when he said, "I'm in charge." He took the microphone away. He sure did. There are some of the Endymion lieutenants tossing those doubloons. Now, in the old days, you could never have seen what you saw just now with the flambeau li lying horizontally right. and still burning Absolutely. easily. In the old days, that oil would have spilled out and you'd have had a puddle of fire on the asphalt. Now, you're looking Thank in the distance. Thank goodness we don't have the old days. That's right. That's the, the distance, King's that Float. Is, that's the King's Float. That's this year's Monarch. Endymion 38 coming soon. We don't want to jump the gun here. Don't want to steal the thunder of the riding lieutenants. Then again, he is the king, isn't he? That's right. And it's great how Endymion does it. Each year the king is selected very democratically. It, it, it's not based on how much money he has mm -hmm. or any of that. It's actually a like a lottery draw. And everyone has an equal shot at being pulled to become the king for this very night. Smart way to do it. The whole premise of starting Endymion was to sort of break away from the stuffier traditions, for lack of a better term, uh, with the so-called Uptown Parades. Endymion was uh, a pace setter when you think about it. There weren't a lot of other parades when That's Endymion right. started out. You basically had those Uptown routes, and then you had the Mid-City route, as it was called. That's this year's monarch, Mr. Dave Goodson of St. Bernard. He's a native of Georgia. He's employed by Memorial Baptist Hospital, and he's the co-owner, but you didn't know this, of the uh -huh. Kickstand Cafe and Bike Rental in Mandeville. He has he, a daughter. And he's married to Sheila Goodson. Endymion, 38, joined the crew back in the year 2000. This year he was selected at the crew's annual Coronation Ball in January at the New Orleans Hilton. The theme at his table that night was that he would be named king and said for it to happen and to be able to experience that with his wife and close friends was an experience he would never forget, and I'll bet that is the case right now. His tunic is white peau de soie, embellished with the heavy silver and gold appliques and stones. 
His collar has white Man. plumes with long, dramatic fan feathers. Did you see the rhinestones on his man, crown? Man, oh man. Unbelievable. Huh? His Majesty's float is composed of multicolor endpoint fiber optic lighting at the front and behind the throne areas. Also, running modern lights. running lights. Yeah, this fiber optics thing has really become a signature for Endymion and some of the other super parades. They have taken that to an all They whole truly have. Other Every level. year it gets better, if that's possible, but it does. <laughs> Mr. Dave Goodson, all hail Endymion. Endymion 38. EP's, EP's back, back down on the on street. street. What's up, man? Oh, we got some uh, first-time Mardi Gras here. Ah. I think, what is this, first or second Mardi Gras? This will be his first. I'm Say hello, Corbin. This is his first Mardi Gras. Say hello, Corbin. Hey. I think he's a future uh, parade thrower, too, huh? Check out this arm on a doubloon. See, throw it, man. Throw it. Throw it. How you throw that thing? Throw it. Show me how you throw it. Throw it out. Throw that doubloon. <laughs> he was getting rid of him earlier. All right. So uh, who's been your favorite band so far? So far, uh, St. All came through, but I'm waiting for Kennedy High School to come. What you think about Houston? Houston was good. Houston came through. Houston came through. Well. Smack me all upstairs. We're going to check out some music. <laughs> He's not going to give up that doubloon. Hey. I would have said St. Mary's and St. Aug just to be diplomatic and po po politic here. I, I, have, I have friends at both places. <laughs> this is Xavier Prep. Xavier Prep High School. Another one of those long time Endymion participants. Just saw one of my colleagues from Xavier University down there doing his duties as a parent has a chaperone. Papa. That's right. Another great school with a great tradition here in New Orleans. Founded by Mother Catherine Drexel, now St. Catherine right. Drexel. That's right. In fact, the original site for Xavier University was Magazine Street, where the Xavier Preparatory School is now. Notice the large number of chaperones? Yes. May seem excessive, but I tell you, Judy, when you're in a really crowded situation, you need every Absolutely. one of those people to protect your uh, your units. And look at how many band members there are. Oh, yeah, this stretches out for a while. Between band members, cheerleaders, drill team, flag team. And the chaperone, right. When oh, it yeah. gets tight, the chaperones are pushing people. Or not the, pushing the chaperones, people, believe it or not, have a, 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 a have very important people, role to right. perform. Band members would just have to plow through a crowd. Can't do it. Doggone it. I think I'm going to go find my St. Mary's jacket in March <laughs> this weekend. Shoot, I missed that. <laughs> out of the way. Out of the way. <laughs> oh, I used to bring my big flashlight out and have a little, a little help, you know, if I had to move somebody back. It was fun. All in fun, of course. Just don't mess with our girls. <laughs> I see Papa Joe's oh, SS and yeah. Dimian in the background. And I am... I'm always proud to say I had the pleasure of riding that float one year. And she was the first super float. This was the first super float ever. In 1976. Now it's, now it's relatively small compared yeah, to some right. of the that's other right. floats. But she debuted in 1976. Named after Papa Joe Munez and Papa Joe Asunto, the guardian angels for the Endymion crew. 
This old gutsy steamboat has charmed millions of parade growers over the years and created a proud tradition carried on by the behemoth Captain Eddie's SS Endymion that you're going to see a little bit later. But this was the one that started it all. The SS Endymion, Papa Joe's SS Endymion, has been renovated. Beautifully, too. New smokestacks. Much, much more vivid now. New endpoint fiber optic lighting Look, at you, the you tops. Notice the smoke, the tops of the smokestacks right. are changing colors. That's right. Even as you're talking about it. The pilot house and the balustrade rail railings along her upper and lower decks now feature running effect lights in purple, green, and gold. Nice Of course, job. the traditional Mardi Gras colors. Still looks like the old float, but, right. but obviously with a... A very nice upgrading, if you will. The graphics Papa on the Jones. paddle wheel, we're, we're going to see this in a second, I believe. On the paddle wheel, commissioned in 1976, New Orleans, <laughs> her home port. And on the bottom, it says, Kenner, 1979, that's the year exactly she navigated right. that city when the parades were canceled And actually, that's the year I rode. I rode the year oh. we were out in Jefferson Parish with the Endymion Parade. That was during the now famous New Orleans police strike. That's right. Oh. Hey, we're starting to get pummeled here through and the Demian chicken wire. And rolled on no matter what that year. My goodness, I can't believe it's been 25 years since I did Isn't that. Isn't that amazing? Oh, my. Ooh. Obviously, I must have been a baby. <laughs> Woo! We've got beads coming on the chicken wire now. What a class act. Papa Joe's SS Endymion. I'm not going to mention her age. <laughs> <laughs> we are in the middle of Endymion. This is fabulous. We're going to take a break right now. And our sponsor, Heritage Hyundai, have a, has a few words to say, I believe. We'll be right back. Just saw in that little tidbit of the the actual way it's done. I remember I said it was done right. by a draw, but the yes. queen is the one who draws right. on the night of the coronation ball. So it's a big surprise until literally a month <laughs> or so before yeah, the that's parade. Great. The You're king, looking at uh, the king only had one month to get that outfit ready. Yeah. I, my goodness, <laughs> I, I'll bet you some of that's being made ahead of time. I bet he's this had some is help. Endymion welcomes you to the Mac de Gras. Yes, this it has is. more than 100 riders on this oh float. And, and I think this is the Baton Rouge contingent of Endymion. And this is a 120 foot long float, ladies and gentlemen. A greeting card. <laughs> three dimensional <laughs> float. It had a complete facelift just three years ago, also. And there, there was a new chassis installed this year. I guess to improve its ride qualities, make it a little sturdier, because that's a lot of weight it's carrying. You know how we always talk about point end fiber optic lighting? Oh boy. This had more than 12 million feet. 1.2 million. 1.2 million. 1.2 million. That little period's Let's hiding see, there. I need, but <laughs> I need better context. <laughs> <laughs> this is truly a mega float, ladies and gentlemen, portraying the large reclining gesture that underscores all the scenes of old New Orleans as well as the modern city we know and love today. Oh, do you recognize it? It's the French Quarter in the old we city. We start with the French Quarter and move on down. The soft colors, oh. Very vibrant city, always has been. 21st century, the large gesture at the front ushers us into the French Quarter. There's the Quarter, and the French Quarter is throwing beads at us. See all the wrought iron from Jackson <laughs> Square and the Cathedral. Now around the midpoint, you see there's even flambeau carriers depicted as characters on the float. And then you get the second half, if you will. Complete with the skyline of New Orleans, there's a sculpture of the Superdome coming up on the rear. The Harris Casino. <laughs> Thousands of lights on this float. Yep. Welcome to New Orleans and the Mardi Gras. One That's what this float is telling us. 1.2 million feet of point and fiber optic lighting. Man. That is beautiful. And 
Endymion welcomes you to the Mardi Gras. Just one of the many mega floats that sets this Man. puppy apart. I see some beautiful beads coming out. Look at that dome. That's a pretty great depiction of the dome. Yeah. Oh, pretty yeah. big, too. Oh, yeah. It's got it all, all in one. And I think EP is back down on street level, trying to find some more folks to talk to. Go EP. Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, I'm looking around. They got a lot of people catching a lot of bees. My three friends here. What's going on? Nothing. How about you? I'm, I'm talking about the bees. You got no bees. Oh. I don't know. Bees. It, it hurt us when we catch them. You were like actually going back, like, and you got some reach. So I saw you reaching one. <laughs> yeah, it was just, it was too much. It was painful when we caught them. <laughs> Painful. Oh, what's your favorite part of Mardi Gras then? When I ride on the float. Well, when do you ride? 56 Elks, driver's side on Mardi Gras day. I'll be looking for you. All right, we're going to catch some more bees. She's going to try and catch some more bees. <laughs> now, that was pretty neat the way EP picked the one the one little girl there who wasn't my I daughter. I saw some very familiar looking faces. <laughs> yeah, there. well, they didn't, they didn't go far. Daughters. Two of my Their daughters names. there with uh, the young lady speaking with Jessica Barnes. And she is one of my daughter Brianna's best friends. But that was Brianna and Bonnie along with Jessica there. This is still the Endymion welcomes you to the Mardi Gras float. You're seeing the tail end of that. You'll be seeing a lot more when we get right back with more live coverage of Endymion 2004. Stay with us. We'll see the Zulu King down on St. Claude and Dumas. You know you see the Zulu King down on St. Claude and Dumas. If you stay right there, I'm sure you'll see the Zulu Queen. You're looking at uh, St. Paul High School marching band and drill team. A the Golden quiet Blues. Right now. They call themselves the Golden Blues. They're on the North Shore. I have a feeling music is about to start. They know where those bright lights and TV cameras see those are, too. the batons held up. They're about yeah. to. Yeah, this is uh, the, I guess, the color guard or the cheerleaders right now, but the band is right behind them. St. Paul's is the band with the cute little white hats. That's right. Legwork. <laughs> <laughs> and 
again, that was St. Paul's High School, folks, from Covington, right? Covington. That's what I thought. On the North Shore. Oh, our, ah, our title, title float. float for the evening. Boy, that looks beautiful. Saturday Night at the Movies, the sequel. This is a three-unit tandem float. Oh, oh. How do these floats make the corners? I don't they know how they it. turn. They always do it, but it made its debut in the year 2000. It's four years ago, and it depicts an Art Deco fantasia of shimmering purple, green, and gold. And it's a wave that sweeps... 114 feet long. Look at the lights in the face, oh. just on the mass. Another float with over a million feet of computer-driven fiber optic lighting. And wow. these are huge masks of the Greek muses. Now, these are always tough for New Orleanians because... Come on, because we don't say it the way the Greeks <laughs> said it. For example, there's Melpomene. And Thalia. Yes. And here in New Orleans, We'd it's be Melpomene. saying Melpomene and Thalia, That's but right. it's Melpomene and Thalia. Melpomene was the Greek muse of tragedy. Thalia is the muse of comedy. This Boy, is that truly is a beautiful. Float. Look at how vibrant the color is. You know there are these giant scrolls. You can yeah. see them. Beautiful. They each have a central staircase for riders, and it starts from behind each mask and rises to a double deck oh. center. Ooh, we're getting pummeled. This is great. Saturday night at the movies, the sequel. And these guys are tossing. Can you see the golden scroll? It has thousands oh of mini chase lights. Look at that. Yeah, oh, border, well, there's right. so many beads draped over That's their right. positions. You can barely see the fiber optics. Boy, that lights up an entire city block. Look at that. Look at the lights That's in the beautiful. face. beautiful. And they're changing colors constantly. Right. So you're getting the... The carnival colors of... That's right. Purple, green, and gold. Purple, green, and gold. Meanwhile, the music you hear is from Archbishop Shaw High School. Literally right on the heels of that float. And again, that's Archbishop Shaw band and marching units. And I'm happy to report the floats keep coming right now, folks. Oh. Great moments of music, movie magic coming up. That's float number four. And this is carrying one of our sponsors, Drew Dodd. You saw the ads earlier in the program for Audubon Gutters. You know how it, uh, it, it should have been Audubon Gutters? He's up there somewhere. I think he's in the... We're gonna wait to see him in the back of the float. I, I have a feeling he may try to let us know where he is. Uh, somewhere up top, I'm told. This brings all the great moments of movie magic. Okay, Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal Lecter. Do you see him at the front of the float? <laughs> we just saw him. <laughs> Forrest Gump. Thelma and Louise. Scarface, <laughs> Thelma and Louise. Oh my. Got a little bit of everything on this Dances one. Dances with wolves. Oh yeah. You think these guys do a little working out before they take on the Endymion Parade? No, absolutely. This is tough. Great moments of movie magic. Float number four going on by. Boy, the face is on that. <laughs> Kevin Costner, Dances with Wolves, Field of Dreams. <laughs> now this is high school band? Southwestern High School. And I'm sorry to say I didn't see the city or the state. Couldn't tell where they were from. Maybe one of the cameras a little further down from us will get us a shot of that identifying banner. Got Southwest colors on. If not.
Southwestern High School Band. Happy to be here. Oh, yeah. Obviously. They get to go back with all those beads. <laughs> and then they get home and they say, what do we do with these now? <laughs> I think when it's the first year, you bring them to all your friends. That's right. And they appreciate it. But and then they uh, end up in vases <laughs> and bowls <laughs> and around your college dorm yeah. beds. Suspended oh, from the rearview mirror in your car. <laughs> like the locals do for about a month or so afterwards until they say, what is this still doing? <laughs> EP's oh. down at the street level again. He's found someone else willing to talk to him. EP, where are you? I'm right here. We got a uh, guy here who's been wanting to talk to us all day. What you got to say, my friend? How you doing? My name is Quintrell, and we come out here at the same spot by Cox Cable every year. And every year we be interviewed to be on television. This is my whole... You're reading two. the books, too. Absolutely. Oh, boy. On this float, you can see Harry the Seeker playing the wizard's favorite game, Quidditch. He greets us as he carefully flies through the obstacle course to get, catch the golden snitch. Do you have any idea what I'm talking about, Warren? No, I have not seen the movie. <laughs> My girls just weren't interested. I don't know why. But I do know that those are all scenes from the movie going along both That's sides right. of That's that That's right. Boat. The moving staircases, the ominous stairs from the Poison Master, Severus Snape. Magical encounters of Harry and his newfound friends. All part of float number five, the Harry Potter float. Now, this is McDonough 35. Here we go. Okay. You know your colors very well. Yes, indeed. You were right. See, LSU is purple and gold. That's where my daughter is now. That's more maroon and gold. That's right. Mac 35, another New Orleans school with a great tradition. Been around a long time. In fact, that is strictly the color guard. That's right. The band hasn't even gotten here yet. Although they are not far behind. You can someone, see the tubas. Someone might want to tell the girls to slow down just a little bit because the <laughs> band <too> is <laughs> here we go. a good 20 feet behind them. Somebody, you think somebody knew she was Look on television those smiles. just now? But you know what? They <laughs> never lose their smiles. Oh, no walk for miles and never lose their smiles. I like that, Judy. That that had a nice little <laughs> rhyme to it. I've been practicing uh, uh, that for weeks. They walk for miles <laughs> and never lose their smiles. Okay. And now Here coming into view is the band part of McDonough 35 High School Band. Take a listen. As you watch McDonough 35 on your screen, we are going to take another quick break. So much more to come of Endymion 2004. Whoa. Ooh. Do not try this at <laughs> home. Six. 
six. The Spider-Man float, Judy. You're looking at nerdy high schooler Peter Parker. <laughs> He's being called a nerd. Actually, that's after. That's right. He's this... bitten by a radioactive spider. His body chemistry is altered, allowing him to scale walls and ceilings and giving him a spider sense. And to kiss girls upside danger. down. That's right. 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 Warns him of danger, his spider sense. There he is, Spider-Man. I feel my senses tingling now as those bees come to us. Oh, 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 oh. Little Peter time, Parker. <laughs> Norman Osborn experiments with an untested nerve gas and develops an alter ego of his own, depicted on the front of the float. Uh -huh. That's the evil green goblin. That's he was right. on the front of the float. Making another picture of that in a second. There's the green goblin. There's there another he is. image of there him, yeah. There he is. Peter Parker has to fight evil keep his new job in a local newspaper <laughs> and win the love of his beautiful classmate, Mary Jane Watson. Is this a challenge too much for even <laughs> the amazing Spider-Man? Stay tuned for next month's issue. Coming to you from Marvel Co Oh, that's how it used to be. <laughs> Before we had the movie version. Oh, I was a Spider-Man comics fan. I sure was. That's the Mid-Carolina High School Band we're watching. And the bookends for the Mid-Carolina High School Band are Spider-Man and the and Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, right. Yeah. Fantastic superheroes you're going to see next. At least that band is very protective. <laughs> there he is. Fantastic superheroes. Criminals beware. Who can forget the famous superheroes who conquered evil and saved the good guys? Heading up our float is the green strong man we know as the Incredible Hulk. And of course, that was Dr. Bruce, excuse me, Dr. David Banner's alter ego. Uh, now, joining the Hulk are a couple of other characters. Hey, is that Batman? From Gotham City. Yes, indeed. In the Invincible Batmobile. Also, Matt Murdock, the Masked Avenger. Now, that one I never read much of. I was not a Masked Avenger. Person. I, I did not either. But I got my share of Batman, and I sure got my share of Spider-Man, and the Hulk. Uh, there's a swamp thing on this float, too. But it wasn't that little pink monkey there. You know, we miss Lara Croft. That's right. She was on there also, from that famous Tomb Raider Ugh. movie. Now, this is... Oh, look, I can read it without reading the script. <laughs> it's the Heidi Tidies from Virginia Beach. The Heidi Tidies Regimental Band of Virginia Beach. Cute. Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech. Did I say Virginia Beach? Okay, let me go. <laughs> let me go sanitize the contact lenses. It's that boa, Judy. That boa. <laughs> All those feather particles are bothering. They're in our eyes and our throats. Yeah. The parade is going Wrong. the other way, Gu guys. Gu guys, <laughs> hello. <laughs> oh boy. Now we know why oh, it started uh, an hour uh, later. Now they figured it out. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's right. Back this way, gentlemen. I have a feeling they know exactly what they're this doing. This way to Virginia. And again, that's the Virginia Tech Regimental Band. I believe our friend EP has somebody else. Is that right, Judy? I'm doing all right. I'm getting party girl here every year? Yeah, every year. What about you, sir? How you doing? I'm enjoying every bit of it. Well, here is the Lord of the Rings float, number eight. And this is the story. In case you don't know it, I'm sure probably 99% of the people know it. An ancient <laughs> ring that was thought to be lost for centuries has been found. And the ring has been given to a hobbit named Frodo. 
as well as the task of destroying it by throwing it into the fires of Mount Doom. And this float shows the whole journey of Frodo, Aragorn the Ranger, Gandalf, Legolas the Elf, and a cast of Hobbit friends who are up and down the float. They go through the mountains, they go through the snow, the forest, the rivers, all the while they face evil and danger at every corner. Take a look at the beads hanging from these guys' floats and around their necks. <laughs> you think incredible. they're going to run out? I don't <laughs> think so. When you figure they're already halfway through the parade route. Amazing. This is Endymion salute to the Lord of the Rings. Oh my. Beautiful. Float number eight. You worry a bit for the camera lens sometimes. Oh, yeah. Wow. Sometimes those cameras take quite a hit. Now, this <laughs> character at the beginning of this float should remind you of that grotesque creature from <laughs> Men in Black. Although Will Smith seemed really cool with him. That's right. <laughs> follows the exploits of agents K and J. That's right. Men in Black 1 and 2. Those were the movies. He's got a serious drool problem going there. <laughs> Ew, yuck. It's like a green slime kind of thing. The agents were members of top secret organization established right. to monitor and police alien activity on Earth. Ooh, Warren, we're getting pummeled. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to think about it. The chicken wire is guaranteed to protect us, That's we've been right. told. Well, apparently we're safer than the two men in black because they found themselves in the middle of a de deadly intergalactic assassination plot. Save the world, <laughs> no doubt. And of course, everybody, and I mean everybody, has seen the movies, <laughs> Men in Black 1 and 2. So you can figure out the rest of it. And again, that was float number eight. So many more to go. Okay, I, I want you to... Our two agents enlist the help of Frank the Pug and a group uh, of hard living uh, uh, worms to help them kick some serious... I remember Frank the Pug. Alien butt, yes. <laughs> serious alien butt. And they kicked it. <laughs> this is the Farmington High School Band. And now you understand why we refer to Papa Joe's SS Endymion as the precursor to this right. one. This is the 21st century version of a super float, and you don't even see the end of it. <laughs> Man, no kidding. Steamboats are coming, as you know, is that familiar song heard up and down the Mississippi River in the late 1800s, and it comes alive with this float. Longest float in all of Mardi Gras, right here, folks. 240 Two, oh, feet long. Now, this is a five-unit tandem. We don't even see the end of it. <laughs> that's, 200, a, that's a lot of hinges in there, huh? <laughs> 200 maskers on this float, a live band, stadium-quality sound system, 
and more than a million feet of, of fiber end point optic lighting. Fiber optic again. lighting. You have the water nymph up front with her golden hair trumpeting the approach of the ship itself while colorful shrimp, crawfish, and, and crabs scatter by the side at the river's bottom. There they are. <laughs> you have chase lights dominating the ship's deck. And they are going. You see them flashing. And you can see the sea life down there at the bottom of the float. Old Man River's on this float. Next to a marsh as catfish play about. Oh, man. EP's oh. next to the float right now, I believe. EP. Hey, how long have you been riding on Endymion? Six years. What's your favorite part? Orleans Avenue and the Dome. Yeah, you're right. Have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he didn't say Canal at Galvez? <laughs> EP? EP? The Dome. Can you imagine Where coming into you? the Dome? <laughs> oh, I on do. On these floats, what an adrenaline rush that would be. I know what it's like to go in Hundreds. with the band and right. enter the Dome, so, and that's quite an experience. Because, Hundreds again, of all of those folks have been waiting all night for the arrival of the parade Absolutely. there. And, you know, we see so many beads now. That's when they yeah, well, get that's rid when of every they last all one. get gone. And again, this is a 240-foot-long float, which means when we take this break, it'll probably still be <laughs> rolling by. But let's do that right now. Endymion 2004 live coverage will return in just a few minutes. on this float and it's the Bucktown All-Stars yeah. from New Orleans and also Rock and Dootsie. In fact, we can barely hear them because the Farmington High School, the Farmington band. High School band is cranking the volume up right now. This but is an amazing float though. Again, did you say Rock and Dootsie's on the tail end of this? Rock oh my Dootsie. goodness. Yes. Oh wow. Legend, legendary Rock and Dootsie. Uh, and you're uh, listening uh, and watching the Farmington High School band right now. She's caught some beats. You think, huh? Boy, they work. They work for it. Watch them work now. <laughs> Undoubtedly, there is a little bit of a delay further along. Because I do know they wanted to keep things moving along here. They still have to get to the dome on time, <laughs> Miss right. Judy. Look at the beads they have on. Perhaps someone should tell them how much those beads start to weigh after a couple of hours around your neck. They're feeling it about an hour before oh, they get yeah. to the dome. Oh, oh, now he's precious. We know him. <laughs> yes, we do. Yes, we do. Chris Judd. And I believe Christian has a wig on. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a little help there with the hair. Although I haven't seen him in about a year, maybe he just stopped going to the barber. I think that's Christian's Mardi Gras with. <laughs> More of the good folks outside the Look Cox at these Studios lights. enjoying themselves, what waiting for that big float to come right in front of them. They're not quite there yet. They're throwing, you know, when, the, when a float like this stops, they can't stop throwing beads. They have to keep throwing. Oh, they have to. They can't get sour. Isn't there a rule about that yeah. or something? <laughs> it's a New Orleans rule. Now we're seeing, I guess, the latter part of the float. Actually, that's not it. Now, that's only the middle part of the that's float. Right. That's oh, right. That's right. Because I can't even see the last of the five units. You know, this isn't smell o vision but you can also smell people barbecuing. Oh, folks are still eating out here. Absolutely. EP's got another victim down on the street. <laughs> EP. 
Hey, uh, how you doing tonight? I'm doing all right. Where you gonna be Mardi Gras Day? On uh, St. Charles, I guess. Whereabouts? You stand someplace every year? Uh, Napoleon, St. Charles. That's a good spot. Catch it early, huh? You here with your family? Yeah, this is my wife. She's going to Iraq Monday. She's in the Army. This is a last parade right here. This ain't your last Mardi Gras. For this next year coming, it is. Yeah, you're right. Y'all have a good evening. Back to y'all upstairs. Oh, oh best man. Best of luck to that lady, for good sure. Good luck. That That's is that is wonderful. Whoa. And this is her last parade before she goes. I hope she has wow. the best time of her life. And in the meantime, stay safe, dear. Stay Absolutely. safe, for sure. Absolutely. Well, something must be causing the front portion of the parade to delay now because the Farmington High School band is still right outside our perch. And you're looking, believe it or not, at one float right okay. before we came up to this woman. Look at those beautiful beads. The float's got to be at least, well, over a block long. Oh, yeah. Or it sure seems that way. And the crawfish and the shrimp on the side are making me hungry. <laughs> Farmington playing to the crowds over there again. And it's nice, they're playing to the other side. That's right. That's right. As opposed to the Cox communication side. Because we, get, we do treat. get so much attention. Giving everyone a treat. Take care of those folks along what we like to call the neutral ground. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Melpamine. <laughs> I'll bet they go back with so many stories every year. Oh, I know. <laughs> Listen to how they pronounce this. <laughs> And that's what's waiting for us <laughs> in the background, folks. Man. Still heading our way. You realize that we have been looking at, what, float number 10? Captain, five in fact, pieces, yeah. we haven't even gotten to that one yet. There are 28 <laughs> floats, that's so right. there's lots more to come with our live coverage of Endymion 2004. Junior, we should say. That's right. Along with the Bucktown All Stars, right? Yeah, that's right. Oh my! Somebody should tell them that the footballs are not going to go through the chicken wire. I'll, I'll rescue them from on top of the chicken wire after the parade. There goes the steamboat. Is that a float or steamboat's what? Steamboat's going. Are we looking at Neptune? There's Neptune pulling up the rear. Look at Neptune's eyes. They glow blue. Whoa. <laughs> now, behind such a float, you've got to have a couple of maintenance vehicles. That's right. <laughs> just in case you need them for something. A couple of tractors. <laughs> Look at the generator on that tractor that, that's passing us right now, Judy. I guess the folks at home Man. can't see that, but. Smart move. You never know when you'll need that power. Remember, a million feet of lighting requires a little bit of juice. That's right. Even though fiber optics tend to be fairly efficient energy-wise. There we go. 
Look at the size of that can't, generator. You can't do hey, without that generator or the tractor. What, wouldn't you like to have that in your backyard in the event of a storm coming? Oh, wish I had it during Tropical Storm Bill last year. <laughs> Here comes the U.S. Navy Flying Rifles Drill Team. Oh boy, and you'll see why in a moment they're called the Flying Rifles. Assuming they give us a little display. Hopefully so. At the risk of sounding like a meteorologist, I can tell the winds are shifting and it's getting a little cooler out here. It's still nice, you're right. Cracker Jack marching unit. <laughs> <laughs> now, interestingly, we had them. Oh, we switched. Yeah. Well, they switched we from the script. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. The first group you saw was the Cracker Jack marching unit for the U.S. Navy. Right there. And they'll be followed by the flying rifles. That's right. Look at those rifles flying. something you try at home <laughs> and you have to figure that home. those rifles which I believe are copies of Springfield rifles that's probably seven or eight pounds they're flipping around like that with, with a bayonet, with bayonet. On the end. I'm sure it's a dulled edge on the bayonet for safety's sake in fact most of the rifles they use these days are ceremonial they are not mm -hmm. not usually functioning although these look to be the real thing and coming up from behind, it came from Hollywood. Yes, it did. And if it doesn't look familiar, remember the movie Alien? With Warren Officer Ellen Ripley out in deep space? A little bit of a drool problem there, too. This pretty sweet young thing appeared. Mama from Alien. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Even this version gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> Each creature featured on this float runs chills down the spines of movie You've got the creature from The Predator. You've got T-Rex, or that's Godzilla. I'm sorry. Sorry, Godzilla. Gee, you sure look like T-Rex. Or I guess Jason. Jason from, from Friday. Camp Crystal the... Lake. Oh, my. And Freddy then Krueger. we have Freddy. <laughs> There's Freddy. What a good-looking guy. <laughs> All the bad guys. Uh, my boys are probably going wild right now. I don't think anything tops that alien <laughs> at the beginning. It at the beginning of there. Whoa. Freddy Krueger, eh? I know guys who look like that. <laughs> <laughs> Little makeup, you never know. <laughs> but we should talk, right? <laughs> Coming up some right, newsies who look like that. Coming up behind float 11 is the Moody High School Band, All Star Band, excuse me. Complete with their own golf cart. Not a bad way to travel. No. What, no happens, water on the back what happens if your batteries die? Ooh. <laughs> I guess you have to push the golf cart. Float number 12, boys and girls. Star Wars. Endymion salutes George Lucas's epic film, telling the story of distant galaxies eons before the creation of the mythical planet known as Earth. The Emperor Darth Vader has plans of taking over 
constructing his formidable Death Star, <laughs> capable of destroying whole planets. Princess Leia is shown on this float as a leader of the Resistance movement and acquiring the plans of the Death Star. Yoda yeah. is also featured in his infinite wisdom, guiding young Luke Skywalker along the back. We've Yoda's got R2. coming up on the second half of the float, I think. Yeah. I think he's near the back. Yeah, there's Yoda, right in the right at the beginning of the second part of this float. Again, this is one of those tandem floats, folks. First you get a float, then you get another float. Yoda's looking over the shoulders of these speed throwers right now. <laughs> there he is. Float number 12 from the 1977 mega hit Star Wars. Remember, we are all movies themed this That's right. year. Don't forget they saved the galaxy from the clutches of evil. <laughs> from uh, Alabama, it's the Marion Military Institute band coming up. That's what you hear while you still see float number 12. I'm getting ahead of myself again. <laughs> there they are. You hear their music. Which is a board, I think it's one of those military boarding schools, high school type boarding schools. That's not a college, hey, that's... In fact, I think I've seen their ads in the paper from time to time. Okay, this guy, this guy coming up... Haha, <laughs> it's Shrek, After this it? band, needs a little treadmill. Cartoons come alive. This oh, is the animated salute. <laughs> I do. That brings out the kid in all of us. Shrek. Great movie. On this float also is the lovable talking donkey, tiny Lord Farquaad, and Princess Fiona, all riding <laughs> behind <laughs> Shrek. And we've got all... Wait, more creatures. Oh. Where's and There's Andy's favorite cowboy from Toy Story. Oh. Oh my goodness, you've got... Tarzan. The gingerbread man. All kinds of folks are featured here. This is Cartoons Come Alive. Where's Buzz Lightyear? I saw Woody, but there's, there's Woody. Buzz, there's Buzz, Buzz Lightyear on the was on the, the front float. of the float. Okay. <laughs> there's Tarzan. And a fig leaf. Perfect for Marty. Well, Hall. thank you, Tarzan, for sparing us that. <laughs> Cartoons come alive. Float number... 13. There's Nemo on the side. Heimlich. <laughs> this can't be a New Orleans Fire Department pumper. No, no this that, is a band. <laughs> that's the Art Rider Jazz Band from Kenner. And again, they're here every year. I don't think the fire department would be able to do that to their truck. No, I don't think they'd manage that. The Art Rider Jazz Band sounds good. Yeah. Our sponsor is Heritage Hyundai tonight. We're going to take a quick break, and we have much more of Endymion 2004 coming up. Stay with us. back with live coverage of Endymion 2004 and we are at the midpoint of the parade as this of this float. This is number 14 and remember there are 28 total floats so you're right now at the halfway point folks. And X-Men marks the halfway point. This is the mutant world of bad versus good. A world of the X-Men. Right, they're genetically engineered, right? They're trained to use superhuman abilities they fire beams of force from their eyes. 
a set of wings that allows flight or being able to read the minds of these mutants are often feared ah. and despised by the world, but it forced them to resort to desperate actions. <laughs> and of course you have the good guys and the bad guys amongst the mutants. One group decided to get together and show the world it need not fear all mutants. <laughs> Under their leader, Dr. Charles Xavier. I like that name, Judy. <laughs> Greeting us from the front are Cyclops, Storm, Wolverine, and Mystique. Apart, they are simply curiosities, but together, <laughs> they are the uncanny X-Men. <laughs> yes. It looks like some of these float yeah. riders have their own mutant powers. The X-Men know how to throw. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, I got a good pair just now. Wow. <laughs> Hotsy doggy. Man, I don't think these will go into these the recycling sack. No, those are pretty oh, great. Oh, Judy, look at these. Nice. X-Men. This is the time where you're not even mean when you say, look at that bunch of mutants over there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and that's how it looks from the ground level, folks, especially when they're right along here. The, guy, the guys know they're on camera. Are they nice or what? Those are huh? really you got nice. Those got, you know, they're throwing metallic a Metallic pink, yeah. Like lavender and pink. Well, you know, pink is nice. a hot color this year for very the guys, nice. too, right. I'm told. Very hot. That's, that's very true. I've been watching too much Queer Eye. I know. <laughs> <laughs> John McDonough from Esplanade Avenue. This is the John Max Senior High School Band. I wonder if I'll see my buddy, the principal, Mr. Walter Goodwin, out there, marching with his students. Unfortunately, the parade is not moving at this moment, so we see the front of the John McDonough unit. Yeah, it's pretty fun to Although watch. Although the band is a little ways away yet. Not sure if they can hear the band as we can or not. Obviously, the girls can hear the band. The dancers can hear the band. We can hear a little bit from the float ahead of them, too. So. I'm getting sore just watching them do all that stuff, Judy. Of course, if we did that every day to That's right. start our day, we, <laughs> we'd be loose as a goose. Very in shape. Here we go. Now, ladies, you've got to give the band members a chance to get in front of the camera, too. No way. <laughs> Not if they can help it, right? Here we go. John Mack, as they are called sometimes. John McDonough High School. Uh-huh. <laughs> Parade's moving again. Once again, we're about halfway through. Right at the midway point. And our broadcast cage is covered with these. Oh, yeah. Are you going to climb up on top afterwards? And oh, I, well, actually, my 11-year-old is collecting beads right now for her, for her ride on Mardi Gras Day. I guess I'll be up there. And this is John McDonough's band.
high school, senior high school, I should say. Marching band, drill team, cheerleaders, flag unit, the whole nine yards. Here they go. They've got to keep moving because here comes number 15. Romance on the silver screen. Ah, yes. Let the violin start playing, Judy. And this is ill-fated romance. Oh. Oh, well. Ill-fated lovers. Oh, from no wonder. It's from Titanic. That's right. They're going down. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, ill-fated lovers in cinematic love stories. Except that's, that's right. That's sinking yeah. ship right They're there. not going down together. She no, that's survived, right? That's right. right. Oh, that's right. gee. But it was the noble thing to do, right? But we have more tales coming from this float other than just the Titanic. As we pull out and look at the rest of the characters. Oh, that's right. There's characters from Tarzan right. and Jane. My big fat Greek wedding. Oh, wait. Even the, the, the characters from A Bug's Life? Wait when a Harry minute. met Sally. <laughs> also... Sleepless in Seattle. Oh, it's the kiss from Spider-Man also. That's right. Hey, I just saw my girls. <laughs> this hey, is... This is a to Romance on the Silver Screen. That's Float 15. And this is now the Orangeburg Wilkinson High School Band from Orangeburg, South Carolina. Oh, check out the color. I like it when the, the schools come in with a little splash of something right. different. You see so much blue, so much gold, right. so much green. Yellow, orange, and bright red. Yeah, floor. that's different. That's I like that. I like that. And when this band comes up, you got to see the beads these people are wearing. <laughs> there they are. Pounds and pounds. You notice of they've them. got that nice splash of orange color that's also. Right. They sure I guess do. when you're from Orangeburg, you have to do that, huh? Follows. Nice effect, though. Ni nice, nice looking effect. You think someone should tell all the adult chaperones in the back <laughs> that they're supposed to be they're along be on the side, <laughs> making the sa ways safe? Ah, and here comes Chicago. If you can't be famous, be infamous. Ah, yes. I knew a few people who had that point of view. <laughs> This is Velma Kelly. She seems ah. to be saying that to us from the front of the float. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Um, yes. <laughs> they hold their murderous weapons of choice. Ah. Speakeasy time, huh? Yeah. Velma made all the headlines in the Chicago newspapers back then. Roxy comes along, however, and Velma is yesterday's news. <laughs> they are not only competing for coverage from the media, but also for the attention of their shared attorney, the debonair Billy Flynn, shown on the side of the float. That's right. Lots of gunfire and mayhem abound in this story. Add to that mama, the prison matron who watches her girls <laughs> from the side of the float. And that, you have it, is Chicago float number 16. E.P.'s got another victim. Where is Mr. E.P.? Ah. All right, we got some more people from out of town here. Let's get the out of town perspective. Where y'all from? We're from Houston, Texas. And uh, how many times y'all been to Mardi Gras? This is it. First time, huh? What do you think so far? Excellent. Very fun. A good time. This ain't their first rodeo. Well, this is their first rodeo. We're going to check it out in a little while, see how they made it out. Back to y'all. <laughs> Did he say rodeo? I think he said rodeo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you think he meant parade? Or is <laughs> maybe I'm just not hip enough to know what rodeo is. Maybe it's means. a new word for Mardi Gras. <laughs> <laughs> Made sense to me, though. That was fun. 16 just before us. We've got the Andrew Jackson High School Band coming up in just a moment. I think those are our friends from St. Bernard That's Parish, right. right? That's right. Mm -hmm. Blue and gold, again, that's a popular color theme, isn't it? Yes, it is. I tell they you. They look good. We can already hear them. They're coming down the street. From Chalmette, darling. Chalmette, Andrew Jackson, Fundamental Magnet High School. Did I say just senior high school? No. Okay, great. 
Crank up the sound. walk backwards the whole way. Oh, oh, oh. That would be tough. Oh, this is the Andrew Jackson High School Band. And they're not through yet. Nope. After the cheerleaders, you get the majorettes. In some of these units, you've got more cheerleaders and majorettes than band than members. Band members, sometimes. that's right. If you're into macho oh, movies, yeah. Judy. <laughs> There's a pretty, pretty float coming up. Gladiator. Ah. Do you see the victorious general Maximus Decimus Meridius? <laughs> He's been named the keeper of Rome. <laughs> the dying emperor Mar Marcus Aurelius names Maximus Decimus Meridius to restore the power of the Roman Senate. But Marcus's power-hungry son, Commodus, has other plans, as shown <laughs> on the side of this double tandem float. He must have had a tough float. time growing up named after a commode, huh? <laughs> That's right. Commodus. Now, look at the side of the float. It's reminiscent of the Roman arenas and structures. Of course, scenes of Maximus as the gladiator. And can you see the midpoint of the float? In the midpoint uh -huh. between the two units. The Roman centurion. Right. Whoa. Bigger than life. There we go. Right between the arms of the people. Those Roman those guys had great legs, beads. didn't they? <laughs> they? Those legs look good coming from that suit. Huh? <laughs> Julius Caesar's here. Everybody's on this. I'm telling you, the crowds aren't tired Scene either. Scene from Gladiator. Ah, they're the Centurions. Julius Caesar on the back. Great float. Ah, Winona uh -huh. Sea. <laughs> Calliope and Brass Band. Yeah. Look at those Clyde Stales.
<laughs> You're getting everyone going. Oh, sure. They saw lights. They saw a camera. They jumped off the back of that puppy and started dancing. <laughs> they know how to grab a little time. <laughs> And there's our boy E.P. out there's there. There's E.P. <laughs> Doing it up. <laughs> oh, I think we're going to go down to E.P. Hey, he's got here with the Cali, with the Calliope players. What's your name, ma'am? Hi, I'm Joey, and I'm from Minnesota. We brought the Calliope. It's the only one in the nation. It's powered by steam. There's a boiler in the back. Powers the whistles and makes the tone. And that's great. We're having a great time in New Orleans. But we want more people to clap. First time? Joey. First time to monitor? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, this is my very, very first time. What do you think so far? I love it. It's how, exciting. How are you going to describe it? Oh, I describe it as uh, somebody back home. Fantastic. I think uh, a lot of people are caught up on the beat. they got to get more caught up with the music. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, you're right. How you like Mardi Gras for your first time? Oh, I love it. I love it. I came here with her and she taught me how to dance. Yeah, you're right. Well, y'all doing a good job. Back to y'all upstairs. I'm going to cut the rug. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, look at EP. Uh-oh. Oh, EP. He's been studying. <laughs> <laughs> He's wait, been taking wait, lessons yeah. from her. <laughs> Looks like he could do a little flambeau action out there if he had to. <laughs> That's great. The one you notice how he Steve almost said Cali Cali Yeah, you, you, you can tell he must be a New Orleans boy. That's right. Steve Calliope and Brassman from Minnesota, did she say? I think so, yes. Oh, wow. And her very first, boy, she knows how to do Mardi Gras for it being well, her first obviously, time. Obviously, well, they have a good reason for being here. Can you imagine what oh. it's like up there right now? Nope. Whoa, honey. Nothing is pretty or balmy. Mm -hmm. And she said this was the only steam That's calliope. That's a genuine steam-powered calliope. It's burning some wood right now. Yeah. You can see the flame shooting up. Get the feeling the parade must be a little bit held up. Yep. The float is at a standstill. It'll start moving soon enough. We get to listen to the calliope. And smell all the wonderful burning <laughs> wood smoke. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. Try we to gather our more. senses. And there's a lot more parade to come. Let me see. That was float number 17. There's only 11 more floats to go. Lots our, more. As our live coverage of Endymion 2004 continues after these messages. We go to sand, we go beat, right here, full right on this street. Slow stroll by, act a child, stand back by, can't go wild. Partying hard to the break of dawn, yeah, you right, get your pirate on. I'm going to the pirate. No problem. We got a bit of a stall. We can handle that. What you're looking at in the background is the, the float Moulin Rouge. Coming up real soon. You can see you can see the redhead from here. That's huh? right. <laughs> <laughs> the Nicole Kidman character. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the folks outside the Cox facilities, including this young man who My offspring. Yeah. This is John Esperos. I would say John Storch, but that wouldn't be fair to my husband. Oh, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. You can't do that. Let, let, let the husbands think they have That's some right. role. That's right, but he is okay. named after my father, John Storch. Ah. <laughs> thank you. Do know. you think he has enough? I don't know. I think I think Mama Esperos is home saying, yeah, but that's my grandson. I can see I can see us in that's here. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. He's got some Esperos in him, that's for sure. Yes, he does. <laughs> Looks almost I've had people I'll bet ask Keith me. looked just like that when he was a little boy. I've had people ask me about all three of them if Keith carried them. <laughs> I'll bet he's I'll bet he's wondering what we're saying about him up here, huh? <laughs> 
our friend from Minnesota yeah, is still is still trying to teach us how to dance, but I, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> yeah, honey, you got it. We're going to go down to EP. Yeah, some more people from out of town. We're going to see what they feel uh, about Mardi Gras. How many times y'all been to Mardi Gras? It's our first time. First time. Mardi Gras. And how is it? It's awesome. Yeah. So much fun. What do you think about all the beads and the throws? Crazy. We I'm getting hit in the mouth twice. So much fun. <laughs> yeah, they're hitting me too. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it all, huh? Guys, it's been awesome. I think it's because the sign. To be honest, the sign. That'll get them. That'll get them every time. All right, back to y'all upstairs. No, those two precious gals on the left have to be twins. I didn't realize they were twins. I guess it's the different hair color. That's how their mama must tell them apart. But yeah, they they're, they're twins. And they I'll did have a lot of beads. So it's a pretty good we, sign now. We spotted them earlier, actually. They were yes, waving we up at us earlier. Boy, that woman is going to be so tired tonight. Not this woman. <laughs> oh, the lady dancing? Yeah. Hey, Kat. Cox Cable employees. Cox More of our communications. Friends. And their guests. I hope the Calliope doesn't run I, I, out of steam, <laughs> literally, wondering. sitting here. You know, I'm assuming it's wood burning because I saw the darker smoke coming up out of one of those stacks along with some flame a little while ago. I think you're right. She said it was the only one in the U.S., yeah. I believe. And I think this is the way they used to do it. <laughs> 38 years this parade has rolled. Oh, now oh, you, now you see what's <laughs> hanging above us, folks. This is our cage, our bead-covered cage. And now you know why they put a cage around <laughs> us, because otherwise those packs of beads would be blowing us out. Wait, you, you can see the, the plastic packs that they don't open. Yeah. And they, boy, those are heavy. Well, the guys do that to make sure they can get enough reach to go right. all the way over here. And, of course, it takes quite an arm to do that. We're protected only by chicken wire. <laughs> Finn chicken wire. And Warren <laughs> afterwards is going to go up on top of the chicken wire. Yeah, well, I've got to get a few of these and for for my body. There's a football belt. up there I want to get for my boys. My 11-year-old is going to be riding on a truck float, so. I believe I'll have a couple of bags for you in about 12 hours. They tell us EP has another interview set up for us. Take it away, EP. All right, we're going to get a whole bunch of interviews right here from all these youngsters. What you like about Mardi Gras? It's really fun. What's so fun about it? It has a lots of beads. Yeah, what you like about Mardi Gras? When the people throw beads. Yeah, the beads. How about you? When the people throw beads. What about the doubloons? Yeah. You like the doubloons too? What's up, man? What you like about Mardi Gras? All the bands. All the bands. That's my man right there, bro. Give it to me, bro. Yes, indeed. How about you? I like all the bands and all the beads and decorations everything. Bands and the bees. All right. What about you? What you like about Mardi Gras so much? I like everything. <laughs> the bees, the everything. You know, it's tight. The dancing in the streets, everything. It's all about that. That's right. How about you? I like watching all my friends dance in the parade and screaming for them. That's everything. Yeah. What school you go to? McMain. McMain. They pass by here tonight? They don't ride in the Demi. All right. What you like about Mardi Gras? It's just fun. It's just fun, huh? You can't describe it. It's just fun. What do you like about Mardi Gras? It's the only time of year that you're able to drink a Coke at 9 o'clock. Woo! That's a party. What you like about Mardi Gras? Well, I like I like Mardi Gras because you catch a lot of bees and you can never stop until 9 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, look, look who's representing, bro. Look, oh, I got you, B. Come on, bro. Come on, you gotta get more than that, bro. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. That in my bag. I got twice as much as that in my bag. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Back nah. to y'all. Nah, <laughs> nah, bro. He's got you tipped, bro. He's don't give tipped. him any more coke. Now remember, <laughs> just Judy, one coke. Tight means good. I know it means good. It okay. Means good. Tight means good. <laughs> Bra means, well, you know, friend, brother. Pal. Yeah. <laughs> I may have to learn from EP how to talk some of that language, huh? <laughs> now, did you notice all of the kids who said the beads are the best? They didn't yeah. have one yeah. pair of beads on. 
They I probably was, have bags of them I sitting here. I was up here teasing them. Judy, saying, can't you wait till your boys get a little older so they can say, oh, Mom, that dinner was tight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and the punch was fire. <laughs> All these other words you have to learn when you have oh, teenagers. I've got to remember that. The next time my boys ask for a Coke. No, yeah, it's after no, 9 o'clock. it's after 9 o'clock, <laughs> right. Now, Judy, you're supposed to know to say that anyway. <laughs> no, they, or, I don't let them Or have. you thought that energy was all their own. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, oh my, this is great. Now we get the oh, answer to our question. You're right. You're right. It's wood You're burning. looking in the belly of the wood-burning, steam-powered calliope. That's, and it's wood. That's what makes it happen right there. Wow, that is great. That is great to see. Thanks speaking to our Cracker Jack Cox Communications production crew for giving that to us. It's not speaking of great. maintenance, they must keep this up. Oh, they you can live. imagine, I mean, yeah. There's a reason why it's the only one in the country. Yeah, there, there are probably easier ways to do it, but this is right, so authentic. Right. This is great. Oh, now, that guy's looking tired. Now that looks like that's our guys from the gladiator float that's, that's right. right they're just past us and there's julius caesar right over his head mm -hmm. oh, oh getting tired he's handy now them. you know he's why handing them <laughs> this is why ep can beat everybody at beads he's got the <laughs> camera right. enticing everyone that's right <laughs> we're gonna take another quick break endymion 2004 continues with big floats lots of happy fun people don't go far Moulin Rouge. In the distance. It hasn't gotten up as far as us yet. For whatever reason, the steam calliope still has not started rolling again, which means the units ahead of them have not started rolling yet. By now, the very front of Endemian is probably negotiating those turns on right. Canal Street, which can, can take some tricky. doing. Yes. Tricky, tricky. If not impossible when you've got floats the size of some right. of these. <laughs> It's hard to imagine that 240 footer going around right, that U-turn exactly. canal, making any kind of a turn at all. Because remember, this this parade still has to travel along St. Charles for a while. That's right. Got to pass Gallier Hull, and then begin working its way to the Superdome. You're on looking at some Poitras, parade goers, as I recall, if I'm not mistaken. Usually, yeah, there by is the, time the woman who is going to Iraq. That's right. Next week. This is her last Mardi Gras parade. Boy, good luck to her. You got that right. Good, good luck to all of our men and women over there, for sure. Ah. Those aren't the Clydesdales. Or else they're holding very still. <laughs> oh, this is still... Oh, this is the back of our float. And is it oh, finally sure is. moving? Yes. Yes, it is. It's moving. I love see, this Julius production Caesar. crew. They're letting us see visually what's going on behind us. And his chariot. Or past us. Hopefully they can get the Model T started again. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Happy Mardi Gras. A Mardi Gras kiss. She must have been inspired <laughs> by the last float. Or the Titanic float. We had a little drama there. I didn't I wasn't sure that that little Ford was going to move right. again. Our friends with the Calliope are moving along from Winona, Minnesota. And here comes float number 18, Moulin Rouge. The story begins when Christian, a young wannabe bohemian poet living in 19th century Paris, or actually the turn of the century Paris, 1899, defies his father by joining the colorfully diverse clique inhabiting the underworld of Paris's legendary Moulin Rouge. 
in this seedy yet glamorous <laughs> haven of sex, drugs, and newly discovered <gasps> electricity, <laughs> the innocent poet finds himself plunged into a white-hot yet soon-to-be tragic love affair with Satin, the club star, prominently displayed on front of the float. Whoa. That, of course, was the Nicole Kidman character, yeah. The romance is played out against the infamous club represented here by the famous Red Windmill and Elephant. Moulin Rouge is a meeting place of the high lifes and the low lifes, <laughs> We're where slumming, slumming aristocrats <laughs> and the fashionably rich intertwine with workers, artists, and actresses. Or at least they said they were actresses, right? <laughs> Float number 18, Moulin Rouge. I want to be called a slumming aristocrat. Yes, be careful how you say that, though. <laughs> it's a pretty float. It is. Moulin Rouge. <laughs> Rouge. Ah. Suddenly I have a craving for some grilled fish. Oh, no, no, that's the Salmon <laughs> High School band. Oh, that was so bad. <laughs> I know it was. <laughs> salmon High School. From Slidell. I see what you mean, Judy, about some of these kids marching backwards. Some of the some of the drum corps right. members were marching backwards. Salmon High School. When you march with your daughter, it must I mean it must have been thrilling for you. Oh yeah, sure. No, it's, it, you, you must have been so proud. Well, you're proud. You're very. You have to stay focused because it's serious business along right. the parade route. There are folks who are going beyond and the barricades, if you will. But uh, oh, it's wonderful, especially when you're lucky enough to be able to still see your own kid in the in the uh, group. No, it was great. Feelings of being very protective, very proud. Right, a little weepy. And and actually, there's a sort of a feeling of being you're part of the parade right, too. There's right, a, there's a right. hey look at me kind of quality to it. <laughs> You went for the camera, I know. I know that's hard for you to imagine me <laughs> saying, hey, look at me, but... <laughs> we both are in the same boat there, I think. Float number 19, Judy, and Demian salutes the brilliant, the masterful, the genius, Mr. Steven Spielberg. The there very rich. <laughs> the richer than, than life. rich. Bigger Steven than life Spielberg. in real life and right here on the float. There he is. He has numerous movies that have made oh, him goodness. the most commercially successful filmmaker in Hollywood history. Can you history. say Jaws? So, there, right, yeah. <laughs> so many, though. E.T., Jaws. Oh, goodness. What a Indiana, Indiana Jones. Jones. What a brilliant, brilliant man. Jurassic Park. Oh, my. Close oh. Encounters of the Third Kind. You forget how many movies bear the Spielberg right. touch. Oh, look at these Schindler's guys on the back list. end of the float. Ooh, look at those beads. <laughs> Are these guys having fun or what? All the pictures depicting his movies oh, yeah. on the side. Oh. Salute to Steven Spielberg.
And there is the Navy band. We actually missed a unit in between. The Pershing rifles are there, but tiny, tiny unit just ahead of the uh, Navy band, actually. I'm not sure if any of our cameras can see them, but it's the rifle unit from Johns Hopkins. I guess we won't get a chance to see them. The parade must move on. And again, this is the U.S. Navy Band stationed right here in New Orleans. They always put on quite a show. Great performers up there. In their own ship. These boys and girls can blow. Good old New Orleans jazz. Well, 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 float number 20. The spies we love. Can you say it or should I say it, Judy? <laughs> James Bond. Bond. James Bond. <laughs> That's the famous quote from the lead character on this float as he represents the invincible 007. Along Arnold with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Along with James Bond, we've got Arnold Schwarzenegger. As Harry Tasker, not as the governor Remember of when he was a spy right. in the flick <laughs> True Lies? I actually remember a lot more about Jamie Lee Curtis in that movie, That's actually. Right. Yes. That's right. <laughs> there was that scene, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> we CIA also have Deputy the... Deputy Director Jack Ryan is played by Harrison Ford. The Harrison Ford character from that movie. Also, Vin Diesel as Triple X shows up with his weapons of mass destruction. All part of... The Spies We Love, float oh, number 20. What about Shagadelic? <laughs> oh, yes, Austin. Austin Powers. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> now, we have not seen him yet on this I can float. never get past his teeth. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I can never get past those teeth. <laughs> I couldn't get past his hair. It's like Shagadelic, baby. There he is. He's on the end of the float. <laughs> <laughs> Spies We Love, followed by High School Bands We Love. This one's the Covington High School Band. Can't just have the out-of-town bands here. That's We've right. got to represent right. the North Shore, the South Shore, St. Bernard. Yeah, darling. Uptown, downtown, and everything in between. And again, this is Covington High School. have the marching lions then you have the dancing darlings and I guess at some point we'll actually see the band members schools do it differently some put all of their advanced units ahead of the, the players right and some put the drill team or the color unit up front and then the cheerleaders behind all part of that variety that is Mahdi ground you got to remember these guys are marching on the North Shore the South Shore different parishes all over the state. Oh, yeah. Carnival Parades to let you know whatever the most popular songs are in New Orleans. <laughs> We've right. heard this same song probably seven or eight times, if not more. You know you're getting out of touch when you don't know the <laughs> artist right. who made Oh, uh, don't tell me. Don't I, need tell my, me. I need my daughters up here to let me know who that is. 
Absolutely. Oh my gosh. I like the way. <laughs> I like the way. I know that much, dude. <laughs> That's Warren. I like the way you move me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you have four dogs. It's a cute song, you know? <laughs> and as best I can tell, there's actually nothing vulgar in it. Amazing. That's right. and, uh, that is pretty incredible. 2004. Of course, I may be wrong. <laughs> CHS, folks, coming to high school. Stay with us, everyone. Endymion 2004 continues with lots more. Juliet. Float number 21. Classic story, obviously. Romeo and Juliet set in modern times in Verona Beach. The Montagues and the Capulets are two feuding families whose children meet and fall in love. And, and they I have to hide their love from the world. That actually is a great movie when you have kids who have to study Shakespeare. Oh, really? Because if you've never seen it, this is one with Leonardo right. DiCaprio. Yes. It's set in modern, but the language is still Shakespearean language. But suddenly it comes alive for the kids that is because fantastic. they see it presented in a contemporary setting, and it's wonderful. I actually watched it last week with my girl. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I'm going to let you talk about it then. Uh huh. Well, we know the story. Their parents right. wouldn't allow them to be together. So the poor dears try to concoct a scheme, and the scheme goes very, very wrong. Right. When Leonardo leaves and they think something has happened to him, except it hasn't, poor Juliet takes a suicide potion, except that it only makes you think she's dead. And of course, That's when right. Leonardo comes back, he's heartbroken. Classic heartbreaking Takes tale. his own life. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a bad, bad scene. Oh, clap your hands. St. Charles Streetcar Band, a classic. <laughs> Speaking of classic. Oh, yeah. Long time. Yeah, you don't hear that often on current day radio. That's a great song. <laughs> okay, Judy. <laughs> Am I it's dating a, myself? It's about time for us to get shagadelic, baby. <laughs> And you know there, there are those teeth. There's those teeth. I can't teeth. get past the teeth. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> it's our favorite British super secret agent, Austin Powers, as he was placed into cryo status at the end of the 1960s in case a spy of his caliber would be needed in the future. <laughs> and so it was in the 90s when Austin Power thawed out and hit the world again. The second part of this float depicts Dr. Evil ah. setting a trap for Austin. See that and little mini pinky me. finger and in his mini mouth? Me. There's mini me. And there's Look at the mini. psychedelic colors on this. The flower power. Oh my gosh. I used to have a pair of pants with that pattern, believe it or not. Oh, I had flower power stickers all over my wall. My kids We're dating can't ourselves. believe those photographs of oh, me from the gosh. early 70s. There's well, Austin on the side. Oh, mini me. Dr. Evil and Mini Me. Little Mini Me and Dr. <laughs> Evil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what you're hearing behind Mini Me is the Fairly High School Band. <laughs>
Gotham directors. Look at how people are dressed on this float. This is great. <laughs> you know the characters? Oh, the mayor, yeah. Dr. Finkelstein, Sally and Santa Jack, Nightmare Before Christmas characters. Tim Burton, let's face it, has done some weird things. <laughs> Pretty great weird stuff. Oh, yeah. Mars attacks. Planet of the... Wait, wait, but he's got... There's some other characters here, though. That's right. Leaders from the Planet of the Apes. Batman. The Headless Horseman from The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Ah, uh, Edward Scissorhands. Is this the LSU Pershing rifle? Rifle drill team? Ooh. No. Just, just went past. There he went thing. past. Okay. It's what we were predicting. It's starting to pick up, and it's getting tough to talk about them. Yeah, it's tough to, to give you the full description snippets. of the floats, ladies and gentlemen. We're trying. That's the Cracker Jack drum line. Ah. Yay. All right. The Cracker Jack drum line, huh? Followed by float number 24. Ah. You like those movies where they're putting out a fire? Backdraft. Backdraft. Ryan, Ryan McCafferty, McCafferty. Depicting the story of the rookie firefighter who yearns to have the respect of his older brother and other firefighters while investigating a string of suspicious fires. You saw that movie, didn't you? Backdraft. The flames are engulfing the entire side of this float as they do numerous buildings in this 1991 drama directed by Ron Howard. I forgot that. Remember Opie? Yes, that's right, Opie. <laughs> this film took a detailed look at the duties and private lives of firefighters. And remember, this was done long before 9-11 right. made film. us right. realize just how important firefighters were. And this band is the Marcus High School ROTC Air Band Force and Drill Team. ROTC. We don't know where they're from, unfortunately. Ah, coming up right behind them, heroines of Hollywood. Celebrating all the famous femme fatales. Ah, huh? remember the tank top wearing Erin Brockovich. Y yes, I, I do She's remember She's at the head that. of the float. And remember all these heroic women who fight anything from poisoning gas companies to aliens. Ah, you know who I'm talking about, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bride from Kill Bill. That's the oh, midpoint my. of the float. We're getting to the midpoint. Oh my. Ah, the Cruella de Vil. Laura She's one Kraft, of my There's all kinds of people here. Yeah. <laughs> Remember Cruella de Vil? Misery's Annie Wilkes? Oh, what a great movie. Heroines of Hollywood. That's right. Would you call Annie Wilkes a heroine? Mm. <laughs> From San Antonio, Texas. It's the San Antonio Street Dance and Drum Company. Oh, I have a feeling this is going to be very entertaining. Ah. They're going to do their dance for us right in front of us. Sort of remind you of our friends from Casa Samba, who are not here That's this right. year. Same kind of beat. Texas in the house. I need eyeshadow like that. Oh my. Now that's what I call glitter. <laughs> Go on, girls. How fun. <laughs> the San Antonio Street Dance and Drum Company. Oh boy, I see EP out there lurking around with that microphone. Uh, you get a feeling he's lining somebody else up? Oh, well, he looks like it. It looks that way. Something tells me we'll be hearing him again. <laughs> I love the way he says, bruh. I love the way he says, bruh. I couldn't have taught him better. <laughs> EP, bruh. EP, you ready? bruh. Where you at? <laughs> all right, we got my friend here. What's your name, sir? I'm Juggy, man. Fat, fat and all that, man. You know, I'm down with Cox 10 with you. Oh, oh, man. So this ain't your first Mardi Gras, huh? Oh, no, no. I've been doing Mardi Gras since I was, you know, a little teeny, little, little do way down there, you know. Tell me, about your, all that. Tell me about your Mardi Gras day. <laughs> What, what, what? Tell me about your Mardi Gras day plans. My Mardi Gras day plans. Well, 
hmm, I'm going to go out to uh, Orleans and Claiborne, you know, catch the Zulu, catch King Rex, catch the truck floats and all that. I'm going to go party. I'm, I'm going to go find you and get drunk with you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about all that. <laughs> all right, how about you? What's about your Mardi Gras day plans? I'm going to be with him. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Tighten it down. How about you? I'm hanging with them. Oh, we all going to get out there, huh? Yes, indeed. I'll see you all out there. Doing our thing. We're trying to be like you. <laughs> Don't get it up on Mardi Gras. Yeah, you're right. Back to y'all upstairs. <laughs> Thank you, my bro. I love me some EP. <laughs> Wait, this is my, I'm going to be with brother. him. What are you doing for Mardi Gras? I'm going to be with him. <laughs> yeah, I could have told him Chucky's a regular at Cox. <laughs> he does another show produced at Cox, of course, plans. called Fat Fat and all that. He's, He's one of the plans. hosts of the show. And I believe we're about to see float number, is that 26? Well, yeah. it sure is. Matrix, Matrix trilogy. trilogy. Oh, I think we're going to see a long black leather coat in this one. <laughs> now, this has got to be a double unit tandem, right? Oh, I have a feeling. It looks very, yes, it is. Might even be a looks triple. No, no, no. It's at least a double tandem. And we all know the premise of the Matrix, right? Somewhere in the near future, a computer hacker named Neo discovers that life on Earth may be nothing more than elaborate facade created by a malevolent cyber... Let me say that again. <laughs> malevolent... You said you it right. See, I can cyber say intelligence. I said that tight, I didn't I? that's not true. Didn't I? <laughs> didn't I, bro? So tight, man. <laughs> <laughs> Only to fuel the Matrix's campaign of domination in the real world. On this float, he joins like-minded rebel warriors Morpheus and Trinity in their struggle to overthrow the Matrix and reclaim the Earth for the Earthlings. Wait, could you repeat that? <laughs> <laughs> the second part of this double tandem float shows Neo, Morpheus, Trinity, and the rest of the crew battling those machines that have enslaved oh, the human race inside the Matrix. That's a cool float. float. Number 26, the Matrix Trilogy. Oh, snakes. Ooh, God, even my Matrix boys want snakes. One so badly right now. <laughs> Don't let them catch it, <laughs> please. You know, we went from waiting for floats to suddenly <laughs> realizing there's only two Speed more demons, floats that's left. Right, I can't believe it. Judy, what's going on I don't here? No, I can't believe it. Oh, people are getting their As fill. As you can see, Those the, are the great. beads are still coming, folks. This is what it looks like right in front of the Cox facilities. And look at the snow on the ground. <laughs> well, whatever that is. Huh? <laughs> we have great NOPD. We also have great cleanup crews. Uh, honey, I know you said you didn't want a snake. Is it okay if oh, your boys brother. have a spear? <laughs> it's okay if they have a spear. No they snakes. They have a spear. You know, they make those rubber snakes look so real now. I can't... Yes, they do. Oh. <laughs> Have you seen some of the spiders? Yes. Yes, oh, they're pretty realistic, man. too. That's right. The Ramblers Dixieland Band. Uh -huh. Old, old New Orleans jazz. It's always good to hear. Daddy's little girl's having fun down there. Yeah. I see my daughter over the barricades in the street <laughs> grabbing beads, for goodness sake. Uh, what else, that's Bonnie, what she's supposed to be doing. <laughs> Bonnie, you get yourself back over the bar. <laughs> she can't hear you, bro. Oh, my. No, I guess you're right, bro. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, man. Somebody's showing beads. off. Uh, <laughs> oh. There's that kid with that afro yeah, wig. That's precious Oops. little Cor Was it Corbin? <laughs> I think his name was Corbin. Either that or Mama has a lot of work in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Has to pick that out just ever so. Where's the kid with the Coke? He's got to be up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can bet on that. I'm with him. I came here and I was feeling a little tired. I said, where's the Coca-Cola? Where's the Diet Coke? <laughs> Let me have that shot of caffeine. <laughs> now, this is float number 27 you're about to see, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, amazing vehicles of modern film. we got to get that shot lined up. 
There License we are. License plate says, out of time. Remember the DeLorean oh automobile in the fabulous... There it is. Yeah, the DeLorean. That's right. Took Marty McFly from 1985 back to 1955. Yep. Okay, where's Batman's crime fighting? I don't know. I'm looking for the Batmobile. Ah. Oh, on the side. That's on the side, right. On the side. All the amazing vehicles. Now, look vehicles. at the second part of this tandem float. Now, that's a spaceship up there, isn't it? Right. Whoa. Spacecrafts that saved our galaxy. As part of the Starship Enterprise. Yeah. And there's a warrior vessel in the back, right? And, and the, okay, that got up to lightning speeds of 1.21 gigawatts. Don't ask me. <laughs> and beyond. I'm still learning what a gigabyte is on my computer. <laughs> you know, these days when you talk computers with your friend, you have gigabyte uh, envy, know. you know? It's, it's, a, <laughs> it's oh, a whole I've, lingo. It's a whole lingo. Well, I've got a 30 gig hard drive. How about you? <laughs> Ah, Pirates of the Caribbean. You know, I just saw this movie two nights ago. Do you for the realize first time. we terrible? are on the last float? Ah, uh, the era when villainous pirates scavenged the Caribbean seas. It is the tale of Will Turner and Rouge Pirate Jack Sparrow. Arrgh! Arrgh, me laddies. Arrgh. <laughs> Uh, remember Will's love, Elizabeth? Now, Elizabeth has to be on this, too. <laughs> She's on the side of pirates the Pirates of the Caribbean! Yeah, the pirates are throwing some of their gems and treasures. Ooh, oh. I keep waiting for one of these <laughs> to hurt me. <laughs> Uh, chicken wire can only hold so much. But, uh, notice how many throws are left on these floats. And once they enter the dome, that's oh, when the major it'll pummeling, it'll be done. major pummeling hits. Riding, riding these can be an economic challenge. Absolutely. Absolutely. Or as EP would say, you got to come with it if you're going to ride a Nivian. <laughs> Bruh, you got to come yeah. with it. <laughs> you don't go out there with a budget of $200 for beads. You really don't. Speaking of my brother, where is EP right now? There All right, is. that was 2004, Nivian. What y'all thought of that? Yeah! This is EP down on the street. I never grow old of a good time. Yeah, you're right. See y'all next year. Back to y'all upstairs. Yeah! Now wait, shouldn't we be using the line about not getting old for a good time? <laughs> EP, I've got children your age. EP, are you 18 or what? <laughs> this is the Coast Guard band, ladies and gentlemen, pulling up the rear. And as you heard from EP, that is the end of the 2004 Endemic oh, Parade. I can't believe it. Man, and it oh was beautiful. Absolutely Another beautiful. Another great year for Endymion. Welcome back to Canal Street, Endymion, That's where you right. always belong. Happy Mardi Gras, everyone. Next year, the streetcars will be riding along That's right. in between the parade. I hope no one parks out there too early. <laughs> Those streetcars can't break, but you know. No, really, a great, great, great parade. Thank you so much for joining us for Saturday, Saturday night, night at the at movies. The, movies, the, the sequel. sequel was a hit, if you ask me. I'd give it four stars. Oh, I would. Terrific. Don't you feel the pressure to go to all the movies uh -huh. now? <laughs> That's why we have DVD rentals, dear. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the date for next year? I think it's going to be a little nippy next year. I think it's year. February 4th. February 5th, Saturday, will be a ah. Demian Parade for 2005, folks. Please join the Cox Communications crew next year for live coverage once again. Let's say thanks to our major sponsor, Heritage Hyundai, out there on Chef Mentor Highway, folks. Great place to get your car. Also to Audubon Gutters and the other sponsors who supported this effort tonight to bring you the best parade of Mardi Gras as far as I'm concerned in Demian 2004. Terrific. My name's Warren Bell. I'm Judy Storch. Thank you so much for being with us. What a blast. Good night, everybody. Good night.